That's <laughs> dog of wisdom. Every because everything I do has to require a level of artifice to it. Even those no random noises I was making are from an episode of DBZ Abridged. Of course. It is. It is the episode where Cell gets lips for the first time. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's. It was tickling my brain, and I couldn't figure out why. Yeah, it's it's the same episode where the self destruct device is revealed for eighteen, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he keeps going. You have a bomb in your boob. <laughs> your bomb Booby bomb. Your boob? Booby bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the stinger for that episode is him just going ba 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 Can't help it, man. <laughs> well, like he had a beak before that, so like lips must feel insane to him. Right? Imagine never having lips. And then just getting them one day. Yeah, the, maybe uh, someday I'll get my lips. The uh, the Anadi feel that that is a racist statement. Uh, well, you know, they have horrible little pincer mouths. I can't account for everybody, you know. Kind of like a natural humanoid form. Anadi? No, the Anadi yeah. are the giant spiders. Yeah. Yeah, they have like the, horrible fang they spider can be mouths. People shaped. Like, via magic, or just a thing that they do? It's just like, yeah, change shape. It's a racial feature they got. Oh, okay, so like Kitsune, where it's like a shape-shifting magic. They've, got, they've thought... got a humanoid and a spider shape. Well, I was referring to the spider shape, because... Good, I hate it. Isn't one of the options where you're like, instead of a single spider, you're like a sentient swarm? Oh, I hate that even more. That like might like be spiders, like, feet, but like just, spiders, man. My just, favorite oh, Spider Verse I variant. Hate spiders, man. <laughs> I hate all of it. They can get a hybrid shape. It can be like man spider. Like, Man Spider is, like, at least isn't upsetting conceptually as much. Man Spider, Man Spider, does whatever a Man Spider does. Okay. I support spiders, man. Oh. Like, I, I enjoy the character, but the, like, concept, the concept of it does, like, make me deeply uncomfortable. I support spiders being lit on fire. Oh. Yeah, so but you I. wouldn't say that yeah. to Spiders Man. I would. I, every time why? Why I would that upset you. Spiders Man? Spiders Man is a human person. Yeah. So uh, they're fine. I, I imagine they care for spiders. Spiders Man they has no care for swarms of insects. Spiders Man <laughs> is a human. Or is he a spider <laughs> before he's a man? No, like, the, the swarm spiders genuinely man believes is a, it is Peter Parker. Yeah, it's yeah. a swarm of spiders that believes it's I, I, I know, but I was... Yeah, was, it's... I well, was, then why did you ask? I was making an fool. existential joke. <laughs> You're the one who asked. Distance is the joke. What? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Philosophy cast is next week. We're doing right. <laughs> we're doing we're doing a Pathfinder show. Next That's week is a calamity of some long. sort in one of our personal lives. <laughs> That's my life every day. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, I remember the other important bit of information uh, that would just be funny for Charlie to think about now. Huh? Uh, you all got your shit rocked on the Equinox. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like pause pause. 
Huh. <laughs> yeah. Concerned at JPEG. Right. <laughs> I don't know what the significance of that is, but I know that it is significant. I do. That is real life knowledge. But Well what what is the significance of getting your shit rocked on the Equinox? It's not necessarily us getting our shit rocked on the Equinox. The Equinox itself is a it's a time where <laughs> A lot of shit can happen. Um, kind of like the how Halloween is explained. Oh, how the, it's veil when is the thin? veils. Yeah, the veils are thinning. Okay. They're not thinning at this point in time. They're combining. <laughs> so it's it's an open space for you know anything that from real life. Yeah. yeah, but I've done a lot of random ass research. Okay, don't worry about it. Mm. Don't, okay. don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't ask we questions. might have different worldviews. No. <laughs> so it's fine. Be quiet. <laughs> well, as I said, Philosophy Cast is next week. Next We're here to play cast. a game. I was going to say, that sounds less like philosophy, more like... Oh, it is I was, kind of. Anyways. I was implying that I would admit it as a philosophy, but... It falls this under is... philosophy. Yeah. yeah anyway, we're really? here for... We're here, we're here for Pathfinder cast, and I'm trying to throw to that, so stop resisting. No. <laughs> no. I always no. Bleach ball. Sorry. Congratulations. I'm, a I'm keeping now. the show on the rails. Do not resist. Bleach ball. <laughs> <laughs> we only make references here. Okay, okay. okay. Bleach ball. Okay, for, for real though, like, I, I do want to start the show. Bleach ball. Let's do it. I think that means you can start. Go ahead. Okay, um, excuse me. Okay, then I'm turning off my fan. So that means we're going. <laughs> that also means Celeste, turn your fan off. Already did. We wow. love it. Love the initiative. Are you also already recording? Yes. Fuck yeah. Oni, are you recording? Yes, I am. Jess, are you recording? I'm ready. Me, am I recording for 23 minutes? <laughs> Grapes, <laughs> are you recording? Yes. All righty, then. Sync clap in three, two, one. Our story begins, as such stories often do, with a flashing level up screen. Hi, it, everybody. Hi, third level characters. We survived. Um, yeah, uh, we're Barely. gonna. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna. I think I think we're gonna call this a rest day for the rest of the day. Cause, yeah, because it's it's nine a.m. <laughs> it's it's nine a.m. on the autumnal equinox, and you just got your shit rocked. <laughs> I just got tinkering to do. I yeah, do and uh, and. <laughs> Mr. Amblesunder needs medical treatment. So does Charlie. Well, you all do for, like, the treatment of wounds, but you need it for treat disease. Yeah. I don't know. I'm fine. <laughs> Feel fine. <laughs> I, I, can I, um... Stage one is no I effect. A, I feel fine. Can I attempt a roll for treat disease? Um, yeah. I mean, if you well, want to spend the time instead of having Dr. Toboggan do it, you can. But... The, can, can we wait till Mr. after Mr. we talk to Rosalago, please? Oh, that's right. Because it's an eight-hour time lapse to treat disease. Yeah, yeah. So like, you could you could definitely oh. take the ten minutes to treat wounds before you report in. But Which yeah, the treat did. disease is is yeah. But anyway, what I was alluding to is even though it's not going to happen technically right away, uh, let's talk about our levels up and if we got anything fun. Uh, Aldrich, uh, your, uh, your level up, as we, as we discussed, is roughly coincidental with your completion of the project, so let's talk about, uh, what you've done with both of those real quick. Uh, yeah, so at the end of today, Aldrich will have, um, decommissioned the, the Flitz and Blitz and Rustum, and, uh, <laughs> created... Uh, what are we calling it? 
the right. Dawn bot. I don't, I don't have a name for it yet. I'm resistant to the name the Dawn bot. Uh, we'll, we'll have. He shouldn't have made the God Pigeon into a Robocop. We'll have turned um, Archimedes <laughs> into a robot. There's. So now uh, Aldrich's. What's the class feature called? Like uh, innovation is a construct companion. Um, yeah, and the art that you picked out for it, if if it's the, still the same one, is fucking sweet. Yeah, I think it's like <laughs> concept art of a raptor robot from the Michael Bay uh, Transformers series. It, it's like a raptor made out of knives. Yeah, um, it. It looks it looks like if the Raptor robots from Horizon were drawn by um fucking Todd McFarlane. I didn't yeah, get that uh, far in that game. It, it's medium size, so it, it, Archimedes is bigger now. Um wow. and the modification it's got is the extra speed, so it's got the 40-foot movement speed now. Oh, my God. And, uh, Aldrich just has a 30-foot move speed. Need to note down. Um, and then the level 3 stuff for Aldrich um, is a skill feat. We picked up... Uh, Assurance crafting. So now Aldrich can just say that they rolled a 21 on a crafting check. Because yeah. got a plus 11. And assurance, it's like, lets you take 10. It um, lets you take 10, but your bonus is somewhat reduced. Mm -hmm. uh, it explains in the feat, it like, it's you add this bonus but not this bonus in there so but you don't add like circumstance bonus it's just your uh bonus from proficiency yeah which if so it's if just I'd your like... proficiency that doesn't include your ability score modifier that's just your level plus like your proficiency modifier the level plus whatever level it is So it's, I think it's a 17 for you. Uh, Would be. No. Cut out your ability score modifier. Yeah, no, it's plus four. Okay. So yeah, it would be 17 then. Nope, but that's still yeah. pretty good. It might actually change my mind because that's not enough to do what I needed it to do. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, also became an expert in, uh, crafting and now when I use, um, overdrive, I get an extra plus one damage from the damage bonus from overdrive. Hell yeah. Um, that's it. Uh, Mr. Amblesunder, did you get anything fun? Uh, so as a fighter at level three, I get the bravery ability. You're so brave. It increases my will save to expert, and when I roll a success on a fear effect, it's a critical in success instead. Yeah, which is fucking sweet. <laughs> and then any time I gain the frightened condition, reduce the value by one, so if I only get frightened one, I might as well be at frightened zero. Yeah. I'm a brave boy. Uh, skill increase into athletics, and then a general feat. I got toughness, cause more health is always good. <sighs> Being the meat shield. Um, toughness also reduces the DC for your death saves. Yes, it reduces it from, or it reduces it to nine plus dying condition value. Mm hmm If you combine that with Die Hard, which lets you get to dying five, you're immortal. 
which is exactly the opposite of what, you know, Mr. Anderson wants to do right now. He's got some things. That's fine. He's That's picked it. up a couple extra kids on the okay. road. <laughs> uh, Suriel, what's a, what's a third level swashbuckler? Uh, third level swashbuckler, depending on how you play them, is very, very different. Well, but for with you. How, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, if uh, Roll20 wants to stop freaking out, I not only picked up uh, a couple new feats, but I also got, like, I think two new? Two new abilities. One being uh, Opportune Repost, which essentially gives me, as a reaction, <laughs> the ability uh, against a melee strike, sp or, sorry, says you take advantage of an opening from your enemy's fumbled attack. So only if my enemy has fumbled will I be able to disarm them or hit them. Which is actually really nice. <clears throat> as long as the dice like me, then, you know, maybe I can uh, stab a bitch in the back. Um, I also picked up Intimidating Glare because I like the ability to demoralize with the braggart feet. But for sometimes I can't always say mean things. So uh, being able to do it visually is really nice. Also, I don't take the penalty if the creature doesn't understand my language. Nice. That's an important one. And also, it's just fucking cool. Yeah, it's just fucking cool. And I also picked up Scolded Secrets because something's happening and Surreal needs to know. She's also just nosy. <laughs> Uh, also, I'm now an expert in fortitude, even though so far I don't think I've failed a fortitude save. Well, Hell yeah, and my uh, acrobatics is expert now. More flippy dippies. Yes, all, right. all the flippies. The one I saved for last, because it's a biggie, is Charlie. You get something Hi. cool, don't you? Mm hmm <laughs> Second level spells, y'all. Ooh, right so. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, uh, what uh what spells did you learn uh for your free advancements since you can what, you could get two seconds right now, huh? Um so third level I, I get two second level spell slots. So now I have three first level spot spell slots and two second level. Right. So, um, I was asking about the, the, the spells, the free, like, spells known that you get. Oh. Um, yeah, you, you could spend those on learning two second-level spells right now, if you were interested. Oh, in I see that. what you're saying. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so the two that I, um, misunderstood. So the two that I took, the first one is called Blood Vendetta. And it's a reaction. Um, so if somebody, um, so it's, I read it. Um, so if somebody has the, it says, it says, if somebody has the audacity to spill my blood, I can make a reaction. And um, if they deal, it says if I, if it deals piercing, slashing, or persistent bleed damage to you, to me. So it will do some persistent bleed damage on them. So I thought That's that was cool. Uh, appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one I thought would was appropriate for mommy because um, she uh, granted me um, a spider. What's the word? Um, spider sting. Spider, spider sting. Um, I chose Vomit Swarm. Oh, shit. That is such an upsetting spell. Oh. It is. It, it just sounds so cool. Belch forth a swarm of magical vermin. <laughs> so I thought that was appropriate. So that's those are the uh, ones, those are the two I chose. Yeah, and um, I don't know if you've been taking advantage of it much. You can also just, like, buy a scroll of a spell you want to learn and consume it to add it to your spells known mm -hmm. so like uh, now that you're at second you could also like you know if you wanted to add i was planning like on doing that on my um yeah. my uh yeah um you know where i'm going with that like my day off or whatever the 
yeah, just 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 a reminder that that was an ability. Now that suddenly that's going to be a lot more enticing. <laughs> mm-hmm, absolutely, because because so. I know you also want Scorching Ray. I do. I do, I do. <laughs> All I was right. looking at that. <laughs> so, uh, and then my um my I increased my medicine um to uh was it expert. Um, so that's that is good for battle medicine, especially. Mm-hmm. And then I took the die hard general feat, which I was just talking about. So it was it took a while to choose what I wanted. I was going to do godless healing, but I think I'll hold off and take that next level. You messaged me like what Wednesday, and we're like, I don't know which one to choose, and I'm just like, die hard, <laughs> die hard, die hard, die hard. Because Charlie. Charlie, Charlie squishy. <laughs> so Charlie is very squishy. They're thick, but they're squishy. <laughs> mm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and speaking of squishy, uh, is this is this Charlie's first near death experience? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed, it was. First time. <laughs> first time. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, what about Mister Anvil Sunder? Probably not the first time you've been knocked down, but like you were on the cusp there. Nah, it was, it's not the first time. I mean, we don't know. We don't know his wife, but <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure she's oh she's... fucked him up a couple times. I'll say, even even if he did actually die, like he's not getting off that easy. He's got twelve kids yeah. to, to look out for. Exactly. <laughs> she specifically has a savings to re- to, to like, revive him. <laughs> like the first the first words he hears upon his resurrection will be an accusation that he was sleeping on the job <laughs> from her. <laughs> not even yeah, from you're not wrong. Arch Baron Fex from your wife. <laughs> she got fucking teleported down here to <laughs> <laughs> yell at you <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the myth of persephone <laughs> yeah <laughs> but just a furious dwarf woman walking in staring down for asthma and walking you out <laughs> <laughs> uh it's great god that's a great comic idea um <laughs> yeah but but charlie having a little bit of an emotional reaction to almost dying yeah, I was gonna um, see if we were gonna have a chance to RP that because I would have definitely sat in one of the pews, and I would just absent-mindedly pet Stephen. That's what I was <laughs> prompting you to do. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, well, we're doing it now. Okay. We're doing it now. Interject. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So definitely, okay, so setting the scene, I'm petting Steven and just kind of staring at that altar that we just opened up and very, like, looking past it, just, just looking past it absentmindedly, petting Steven. Because Steven took damage last uh, session. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was seven out of ten hit points he lost. That bitch Talavia stabbed Steven. Yeah, he... Yeah, and, um, and you felt that mortal wound, or you you briefly felt that wound as you were feeling his senses, oh, yeah. and then moments later were struck down for real. Yeah. So yeah, you, yeah you you had it twice, kind of. I almost forgot about I'm... that. Charlie did something... not have a good time on the battlefield. It, I don't oh, think no. a lot of people had a good time on the battlefield <laughs> last fight. Terrible. It was it was earth. <laughs> Hey, it was too. a romp for Aldrich. Speaking <laughs> of which, Aldrich comes up to Charlie and he's like, hey, could have been worse. You can- really? He died. Uh, how worse? Uh, Aldrich looks down at their own spectral form. <laughs> Aldrich motions to all of him. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, oh. It, Aldrich exists. <laughs> it could have been worse. Do like that, like gestures to self. <laughs> yeah. Did you just motion to all of me? 
I, I, and I go, oh, oh, okay. And then I just kind of start just petting Stephen back and forth again, just a little despondent. Hear the gross noises of a blade cutting through flesh and bone in the background. Serious. Yeah, because cutting, cutting her head off with a short sword would have taken you a minute. Yeah. So you gotta, like, cut through spine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing Orm. it with that one uh, blade? Um, the angel sword still? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you were. The irony of it all. I mean, I mean, ideally, asking for a hatchet would be the best way to do that. But Yeah, but that would take the pleasure out of it. That's true. Just those are more of like a chopping implement. Yeah. And you have a stone plinth as a chopping block. So anyway, yeah. not important. Um. As as oh, you're God, next sorry. to a dwarf with a uh, <laughs> with a war axe, like mm. <laughs> out of character, Serial stares up at a Anvil Sunder as she continues to cut the head off with her sword. <laughs> yeah, doing uh, defiance. <laughs> yeah, doing doing your pep up speech as you like like Tywin Lannister skin in that deer. Right. <laughs> oh God. God, Charles Dance just has that fucking screen presence it's true the man can act it's true anyway we can't not be distracted um, character moment did we, did, did we um have nugget i i remember calling out yeah. nugget we did the burner phone yeah and he <laughs> nugget um, has returned i remember correctly. yeah he as he returned as you were like tossing the place uh, with the with the candle, uh, and you were going to re recover emotionally and then call Rosalago today. Right now. Was the plan. Yeah. Beep boop, beep 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 boop. <clears throat> Gotta call Don't up Grandpa. Me. He's uh, <laughs> uh, if you if you attempt to light the candle in the church, it will not ah. the wick will not ignite. Ah, that oh, makes sense. Bitch. I should have yeah. known that. I yeah. should have known that. <laughs> yeah. Did Did you try cupping your hand around it? It It, it doesn't work. Cause we're We're tr trying to call a devil in a. Did church. you try? Wait. Yeah, like any Any flame that gets near the candle is just instantly extinguished. <laughs> Serial is just fire staff. Right. Serial is just looking at uh, Mister Anvil Sunder like, please help me. <laughs> It's like it's like Beast's hand reaching for the cure kit in X Men Three. Like <laughs> just anything within that radius, just nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't know how devil candles work. You haven't seen it uh, in use yet. Well, no, I have. I, I, I just don't know why it's doing that. It's it's because we're we're in a church of a god that dislikes devils. Well, let's go outside. Then. Hey hey Charlie Charlie, yes. roll me roll me an occultism real quick. Got it. Um, that's a fourteen. Uh, you're pretty sure if you if you place the candle on the ghast. It'll work. I will just use signal it as a booster. Tower. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love it. I'll, <laughs> I'll stand up and I'll put Steven around my neck and I'll just walk oh. over to the candle, carry it, and I'll go, Can you hear me now? And I'll place it on top of the gas body. Can you hear well, me now? Let's, let's drag the no. gas to the. Yeah, uh, w once it's placed yeah. on... Ooh, okay, awesome, love it. I mean, we put the, the ghast on the altar. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, on doing that, um, as soon as you reach toward the candle with the intention of lighting it, the wick lights with a, Ooh. like, ghastly green fire. Mm. I don't know if um, this is the right number, guys. <laughs> ghastly, you say. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I'm gonna it's, scream at the candle. Hello. It's, you ever you ever seen fire in the higher UV spectrums, like the like the blue and yeah. blue and green? Yeah, where it, when you it looks like it's copper. It, it kind of looks like copper boiling water. Fire. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah, of like yeah. tongues of flame, it looks like a like a boiling liquid where it's almost getting into plasma. Like interesting. That's that's it's it's I just a it. it's just a tiny candle wick sized that in green. Interesting. That sounds cool. <laughs> Back up um, a couple steps, Charlie. Uh, and it and it smells, yeah, it smells like overpoweringly of brimstone now, uh, but with right. the undertone oh. of oh. of decay. Mm. Oh, that's a oh. because because the uh, the evil of undeath is being a signal booster for this infernal communique. <laughs> um, and when connection is established, Rosalago answers like just. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wild. It's a I love wild it. Day, I love it. Thank you. Thank I you. I forget what voice does Rosalago have? It's been a minute he was, since he talked. He's from New York. <laughs> hey, hey, how did you even get a guest? What the fuck uh, happened? We're just so lucky. So but, you know yeah. how we killed the the local priestess's son? Yeah, I'm 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 a caught up to as far as body disappeared. But now I get here and there's a gas, so I have like that that's the, the span of time I need filled in. So is from gas being involved to now. The priestess tried to raise her son and made a gas instead. Wait for real? Yeah, she <laughs> she failed miserably. Do you have was... any idea how unlikely that is? Like that's that's literally the critical failure effect. It's like a cleric rolled a critical failure on a cleric ritual. No, it's, it's canon have, now. Rosalago have, just has the entire book open. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Rosalago <laughs> is a uh, expert in religion. <laughs> he knows the entire handbook front to back. He's, he's a devil. <laughs> like, Sitting there holding the core rule book. Religion, yeah. religion is the skill that lets you know things about devils. So of course. But that no, doesn't I just grant like, him knowledge of rules text. Oh, I, that's, I, know, I it's, just, it's funny. It's, I, I, yeah. I like that. That's thought. what was like, being reacted to. <laughs> I like well, the thought like, that Rosalago is just standing there with the book open. The only <laughs> rules text part is it is the is the verbiage critical failure. Like critical spellcasters failure, know, yeah. like if you like, they know it under a different name. Is all it is. If you like, fuck up, yeah. Like Charlie, Charlie knows what happens if she really fucks up casting produce flame. She finds out. Yeah, yeah. But like, so you, you know that critical fumbles exist. You just don't know what they're called. Or at least I do like terms. Yeah, but anyway, I do like important. the thought that. I mean, yeah, Rosalago knows the verbiage. <laughs> Counter argument for the religion and uh, devils uh, thing you mentioned. I mean, nature is what you know about animals, and but bears don't know, have nature ranks. Wait. Well, that they're mm -hmm. not intelligent. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying with Rosalago <laughs> is, if you're a devil and you're and you're smart, you know that researching religion is a good investment of your time. That's what I was saying. Like, I, they, know, I, was, I was just, a, I was just yeah. being a being, being a dummy, being silly. <laughs> bears don't but, uh, know what bears are. Uh, God, I forgot what my response was. Now, side note, mm -hmm. my dumbass is untrained in religion, so you would think like I would be. I thought occultism <laughs> would be the yeah. like this is this is when I first no, was occult building. occultism was just for the for the undead body signal booster. I yeah. see. Yeah. Cuz my dumb I ass feel like it's in character. character was like occultism. Well, occult means like cult, so boom. Okay, cool. I feel like this is in character. Yeah, no, uh, occultism is more like psychic phenomena and phenomena. astral like, plane stuff and like pagan okay. shit. <laughs> phenomena and like bards and yeah phenomena. yeah makes sense now now that i'm anyway <laughs> well, yeah anywho. oh i remember what my response was gonna be so. uh, 
Suriel slowly lifts the head towards the candle. I have her head, though. <laughs> That's smart. He didn't want her yeah. rising. Good call. <laughs> Surya looks to the side like, yeah, totally. That's that's why I took her head. <laughs> Three steps yeah, ahead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about the whole time. <laughs> so we kind of want to burn the church down. Is that cool with you? Uh, specifically you... Archbaron. F d burn down a whole... Like, are you fucking crazy? Yes. No, that's maybe. insane. <laughs> We're going to blame it on the rebels. I love how Charlie's like, yes. I I told them look, that it probably let me, wasn't let me a put good it to idea. you this way. No, what is the I benefit? Said that. <laughs> what is the benefit of burning the church down? We Burn. blame it on the rebels. Okay, to what end? To further oppress them. I think he's I think I I think he's still looking for more Aldrich I, I, mm. put more harsh restrictions on people's movement and access to things we don't need to burn a church to do that yeah no this I mean you got everything you need right here This is a good building can... that can be used. Can we, can we take this building? Because well, could it be ours now? I don't know. Let's already... ask the uh, previous owner. And I look towards the head that Suriel's <laughs> holding. Let's, let's just say the Archbaron has already received a few perfunctory offers on the condition that the property suddenly becomes available. I, yeah, ah. I had assumed. And uh, given that uh, his baron's lordship is the steward of all lands in this, in this realm of his, that uh, when the land's owner dies without a valid heir, because, you know, the other kid's obviously a criminal, so he can't inherit it, so no mm -hmm. valid heir. It defaults to the state. Baron is the state, unless the crown says otherwise, so it's so facto. Criminal. The Baron owns this property, and well, I think like that's I said, our answer. <laughs> yeah, guess we'll. I yeah. mean, we'll pass it on to the Baron and ask him. Hell, the the priest creating a ghast. We just we spread the rumor she was doing it out of desperation or something, and also mm -hmm. we kind of found a stash of her saying that she was going to uh, join the rebellion after she rose her son. Probably where the other one is then. No one's, no one's seen him since yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. Mm. We weren't keeping is that close an eye on him. <laughs> Figured he wouldn't act without the probation? mother. They, did this dude break his probation? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, they were arrested, and then we executed his brother, and then they were fine, let go. Yeah, yeah. You just so, released him that after it. the execution. Yeah. I, okay, I didn't know if we did like anything. Like, no. Yeah. Um. And uh, oh. Serial. I just, I just all. I also just remembered. You probably you feel super vindicated right now because. Yeah. You, know, you, <laughs> you clocked her as a threat at the execution. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, your instincts did not steer you wrong. <laughs> For once. <laughs> um, Surreal is uh, going to kind of put the head down on the altar. It says, we did have an incident. Say, well, you remember the incident at the uh, armory? Who's infected? Uh, well, I mean, that is one problem. Um, Mr. Anvil Sunder is infected. Oh, you said incident, aghast. I, I assume yeah. that was the problem, but wait. I mean, that is one problem, but uh, how, how do you know? I, I just I said I just, assumed. Yeah, that was because <laughs> you, you, you encountered a ghast, you were telling me you had a problem. No, I mean, how did Serial know? Probably the same thought process. 
I think Charlie uh, already brought that up last time. Did I bring up? I'm. I'm not. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't Jess I don't. is like what? Uh huh. <laughs> Look, whether whether you know it to be the fact or not, I think everybody's default assumption is zombie bite make more zombie. Actually, no, I would know it. Uh, well, I wouldn't know if he failed, but I would know that there's possibly an instance that Mr. Anvil Sunder might be infected because I was the only one who rolled high enough to know that. What I'm saying oh, is like, now I know what you're you, talking you about. You could, okay. like Rosalago, infer from context. Make that assumption. Yeah. yeah. I have that knowledge. Uh, so actually, let me uh, start that. So, so wait, what's the other problem? Uh, well... The other problem was from a couple days before this, the uh, armory incident. A couple, re well, I say a couple, but a single rebel did get away. I remember their face and their name, though. Mm. And we do have more information on where the possible hideout is. You should have led with that. Well, you know, they were slightly more important to bring other things no. up first. No, it was not. What do you know? Uh, Suriel's just going to tell him uh, about the specifically the spears, the court of spears, mm -hmm. and the letter that Talavia had with the LV initials, and where is that dude's name? Or not um. name. Jask Cole Amber. That guy. Cole Amber. Yeah, he's 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 the one of Stalish's inner circle. He's a uh, very easy to spot given his sickly appearance, but we hit him a couple times but he got away cuz he was on horseback and we were not. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that lot. They're sneaky, deadly marksmen, track like bloodhounds. Yeah, I learned. <laughs> Serial just yeah. kind of touches her shoulder blade. <laughs> Still hasn't really healed yet. The, the words, I got the slinger still ringing in Charlie's ear. All right, I got the <laughs> slinger. Well... So yeah, you give him you give him the name, the Court of Spears. Mm -hmm. The uh, um, LV initials on the letter from the Glorious Reclamation. LV, LV. Hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Please hold. Yeah. You like? You can hear him teleport. <laughs> Pulls out um, his Rolodex. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, and then there's a like a shuffling of papers. It's like sitting awkwardly in a Zoom call. <laughs> As we hear all of this, him trying to find shit and we're all just standing here like. He'll find it eventually. <laughs> yeah, there's here. Here we go. A few a few uh, missives have been intercepted. Oh. Some. uh. Oh. Reclamation lieutenant, a sword, a sword knight, out operating in that region, um, with the initials LV. The full name is never given, but if that's the same person, you're in trouble. I mean, I'll you, you, this all happened. You fight in Alamar, right? Yeah. Well, Alamar is a fifth sword knight in the church, right? LV. Whoever it is, oh. is, is the next rank up. Ooh. How much would I know about that, James? Like um, the um, be status. a uh, role religion. Religion. No, I'm gonna use. Oh, my pike dice is missing. Oh, there it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, LV, weren't we talking about that related to somebody from the Whisperwood? Uh, you were wondering if potentially there was a connection there. Oh, because you knew a... the name Layersoff, but you didn't know a last name to confirm whether it was LV or not. Okay. So it's just a possibility. Uh, I rolled a 23. 
Uh, yes, you know that they do have a kind of military style ranking system. Mm -hmm. And at that, at the level of sword knight, those are, you know, like, a, you know, they're sword trained knights. So the boys weren't at that rank yet. Mm -hmm. Talavia is the bottom of it at fifth sword knight. Well, uh, bottom, bottom, because there's a six, but it of counts course. down until you get to first. And then there's a different thing. Uh, so somebody one up from her would be a fourth sword knight. And would be yeah, significantly tougher and have access to more powerful magics. Cool. Cool, 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 great, awesome, is all that's going through Surreal's head. <laughs> yeah, however, you know, you yourselves also are feeling more powerful, so. It's just, you know, the lot of you fucked us up. Um, yeah, but she had a gas soften you up first. This is true. If he came in full health, it, it might have not been so bad. It's like, you, you know, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that, yeah, that, that's enough to know. And that's enough to know that this is also a pretty good preview of who you're going to be facing. It's either going to be a cleric of Iomide or a uh, champion paladin. Mm -hmm. Um so you ha you're going to have a you can have a pretty good idea of what kind of abilities you'll be facing for that. Yeah. Um, you know, if you want to know that. Maybe later. Uh Serial kind of clicks her tongue and is like, "No, it's, this is a uh, ramping up really quickly." Is, in fact, I mean, if they're actually if they're actually gathering folk, I mean, that's dangerous. Everything's on the brink. I mean, almost. I mean, I don't know if it would be a good idea to go attack right away, but you know, if you can get out there and disrupt the leadership before. You know, however many of the people in town abandon the place could cut this whole thing off at the head. You can it's try an, an incredible break that you got the location early. Like this is an opportunity. Sorry, I'll kind of look at the others. Like, what are you, what are you guys thinking? Mm. I need to visit the doctor before we leave. Oh, that Claire kicked my arse. Well, I'm going to need a day to coordinate with the Baron, conduct some research. Um, take the rest of the day, rest, recover. You have the Baron's leave to do so. Um, and we'll meet again in the morning. All right? Sounds, Sounds good. Sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Charlie, you too. You look like shit. Can we go get a milkshake first? I mean, Only no. if you're good. Yes. Hi. Well, um, I mean, you know enough about medicine to know recovery burns a lot of calories. <laughs> you do need Charlie to needs eat to recover burger. your strength. Yeah. <laughs> you especially need to eat some protein. Get some meat. Yeah, I need meat. You can yeah. have a milk steak. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. Sloppy steaks, anybody? Sloppy steaks! Sloppy steaks. <laughs> Slop them up! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, steak, no! <laughs> oh, the milk steak oh. has me dead. Uh, <laughs> hey, that was a milk uh. steak. Yeah, you, you get a milkshake before you go see Dr. Mantis Toboggan. That sounds, that sounds, sounds so like bad. it's always sunny Dr. and chilly acts. If anything. Dr. Mantis Toboggan would probably offer you hard boiled eggs. What? Hold on. Why am I. There we go. You like I... an egg in those trying times. Yeah, because those, <laughs> like those are good, easy to digest proteins. 
Also, egg. And easy to make in this time, because you just need boiling water and egg. Yeah. Egg. Steven, would you like an egg? egg. Oh, he would love an egg. Steven would love egg. Yeah. Maybe want egg. All right, let's go. Steven's let's got go one of them egg. cartoony bump marks. Like Yeah, and I'm bump. not... Yeah. Aww. His little yeah. ice pack. So, uh, yeah, everybody going to Toboggan, um, he can he can stitch you all up to to full hit points pretty uh, easily. Like I'm I'm just gonna he's not gonna roll for it. You just you're at full hit points. Remove wounded conditions. Yay! Um, Just doing their own things. No longer dying. Yeah, and if you have uh, arranged to be able to hold still for it. Grapes, you can give yourself the uh, treat disease, and I think it. I think it's uh, two GP is the cost for that service. I can offer two GP. Uh, treat disease gives a bonus depending on how well they. Succeed. Yeah, yeah, and I will. Uh, I will roll for that because a critical success matters. It does. So it does. Two, two gold. Mm-hmm. Two gold. That. I rolled it. There's There's an, it's an 18 on the die. It is oh. a critical success. Oh, okay. so that's a plus four, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so in the, in the morning, you're following save. You have that bonus. Um, do you also want to try and get the spell? No. The remove disease spell? No. Okay. Uh, so that's a 23. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You uh, recover from gas fever. Because I rolled a nine, I had a plus. Uh, yeah, it's a plus four. Yeah, plus fourteen to fortitude save now. Yeah, so he uh, he he gives you a regimen of medication. It's uh, ugh, on antibiotics. Yeah, yeah he gives you like a, a holy water saline transfusion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the gas advises, dancing he, in he, your blood. And he advises he advises you like just eat. Eat ham until you pass out and sleep for 12 hours and you'll be right as rain. I guess that's what I'm doing today then. Yeah, you are, you are prescribed crazy. ham and nap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, I'm a dwarf as well. You gotta give me a thing of ale. I didn't say you couldn't have that. All right. <laughs> it just specifically needs to be ham. <laughs> that you eat. Carly will hold up Steven. Ooh, rum ham. <laughs> Rum oh, ham. Rum ham. <laughs> no, it's got to be herbal, herbal, uh, herbal ale. It's what? Oh, just it's rum just... ham is another. It's always sunny. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. <laughs> no, er- herbal ale. It's dwarven. It's a type of dwarven medicine. It's just ale with some herbs in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's the uh, the treat disease prescription. He gives you that transfusion and then gives you the the herb herbal uh, additive for your ale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just drink, just drink all of that. Eat a bunch of ham. Fall asleep. Right as rain. A nice mint beer. <laughs> medicinal, will hold up medicinal Steve. ale. What? There we go. That's the word I was. Ah, uh, medicinal. Hold up medicinal. Steven. <laughs> Charlie is going to hold up Stephen to Doctor Toboggan. He has a boo boo. Uh yeah, he he also deftly stitches up Steven's wound. Uh, he also so once he um stitches him up, is that Steven? Oh, he requires a sticker and a sucker. Uh, Does he, he have a scorpion lollipop? Yeah, it's it's a hard boiled quail egg. Perfect. <laughs> I'll do. <On> a stick. <laughs> what kind of sticker did he get? It's a it's a banana with a snake face on a the end banana of it. sticker. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Toboggan. Then she'll start penning him, and and we'll thunder. You owe me a milkshake. Let's go. <laughs> that was yeah, good. He, yeah, he prescribes all of you a, a hearty meal or two and a good night's sleep. And yeah, you will feel right as rain in the morning. Cereal feels great. <laughs> Can we go to can we go to Horse Wendy's? No. <laughs> Come on, I was good. 
Yeah, I mean, like, I kind of feel like we earned it. Come on. What? We go I to Horse Wendy's and Mr. Anvil Sunder orders a small it's coffee a and we coffee. leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Chaotic I need to make... evil dwarf dad. <laughs> Can we make a canon that franchise is Horse Wendy's and Sheliax, please? Yeah, actually, yeah, it would be. I mean, like... <sighs> yeah, oh, it's... Horse Wendy's. It's, we have it's, Horse it's, Wendy's at home. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 similar. Like it's still chopped beef sandwiches and stuff. It's just horse meat instead of cow meat. I need my I need my <laughs> and my it makes sense. Meat burger. It makes sense that their sauce is called horsey sauce. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! So I know just I know it's called up. horse Wendy's, but I decided it's it's horse Arby's instead. Okay, because <laughs> that well, makes okay, more sense. So that's what I was. That's what I meant when I was talking about chopped beef sandwich and stuff. I just forgot to say. That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna um, uh, not get into any risky business with saying anything <laughs> like any uh, brand name corporation. We're just gonna name it a horse whatever. Horse. <laughs> yeah. It's like stupid Starbucks. Remember that? Yeah. Or was it? It was dumb Starbucks. No, I don't remember the reference. Not, not anyway. sidetracking. <laughs> we we promise go me horse. Evil Sunder, you promised me horse Wendy's. I want a horse Frosty, please. please. Fine, please. we go to horse Wendy's. Yay! <laughs> she just <they're> kind of just. <laughs> She's just kind of just you know a little sip in her step, like just yay horse Wendy's, yay. She'll walk to Horse Wendy's. You could have a a portal to the airplane, but it's like a near a volcanic vent, so it's like burning hot air, and oh you have a God. magic air fryer. Nice. Air fryer is just a convection oven. Yeah. Don't tell the people. But it has a there's a little bit of oil involved, and my toaster oven does all that shit anyway. So the difference right. is academic. Right. <laughs> anyway, not. That's for the other. <laughs> Another. So time. that. So and uh, Aldric is able to finish the machine because you are relatively unscathed. Okay, you. Suriel is going on a walk. <laughs> Whoever comes through the door first, the the Archimedes bot runs up and jumps on you. We should roll to see who who's first. Who? Yeah, let's see who's first. Just a straight D twenty. Yep, oh, let's do it. Right. Yep, go for it. I'm not using my pike dice. A seventeen. <laughs> Ten. Uh, uh, three. So I'm first. Yep. Say Suriel gets jumped because she rolled lowest. Wow. I mean, okay. <laughs> not, not like necessarily in a violent way, you know, like a oh, dog no, like, that doesn't like know their own size. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. Yeah. Or Dino from Flintstones. Where like he he dives and tackles oh, him, yes. and then there's just like a cartoon fight cloud, and Calvin's not hurt. He's just like dirty and disheveled. Like that's the it? level of that's the level I'm imagining. But the first time that's still gonna spook you. Yeah. Either way, whoever he jumps on is now his second favorite person. But it what Suriel is so confused. <laughs> A knife dinosaur imprinted this? on you. What the fuck is this? Um it <laughs> You know Archimedes? Can I can we say it has a generic like Hello, my name is, and then like there's an audible difference, and it's Aldrich's voice saying Archimedes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my, my name, name is Archimedes. Schlesser, <laughs> 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 you good with that? I uh, let me hang on, give me twenty seconds. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, that's that's not. It has speech. That's just. I am. Like it has that that happy that MP3 it you. plays. <laughs> no, That's that, just an MP3 it can play. Uh, it says, just entirely in Aldrich's voice. My name is Archimedes. Please step away from the prototype. 
<laughs> that wasn't Archimedes a pigeon? What the... he's have but... you heard of the ship of Theseus? <laughs> have I heard been... of the ship of Theseus? <laughs> Archimedes has been upgraded. <laughs> right. <laughs> In many ways, Archimedes is still a pigeon. <laughs> Cereal has the from Beast Wars. most confused look on her face. <laughs> like, concern and confusion. Like, what the hell did I just walk in on? Isn't Archimedes so, like, in play, I put, like, the gif yeah. of, um... That's how it, I, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Schles, but like, that's how I picture Archimedes. No, from the outside, you have no, no idea, he's in there. idea that there's a pigeon involved. Gotcha. Okay. Still looking at Aldrich in mild fear and confusion, by the way. <laughs> She can't um, put words together. So, I fighting is hard, and I don't want to do it, but I understand it's going to happen around here. So Archimedes is going to do it. Okay. Automated this chore I don't want to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> Honestly, I wish. <laughs> uh, is Archimedes, like, just, like, latched onto her, or was it, like, a dog jumping on somebody? Like, she could yeah. easily take him off? It was like a Okay. Yeah. Chris Zuriel will just slowly pull Archimedes off, like... And now you've got, like, a raptor kind of hovering near you, like, when a dog likes you. And occasionally pecking at the ground with its raptor face. Its metal beak just scouring the floor. Right. The wood Cereal's... floor of your building. No, Cereal's it's... just thinking to herself, how does this keep happening to me? How do I keep it is beakless. Animals? Yeah, it's like Jurassic Park raptor. Not Smashing like bird raptor. Yeah, just... Oh yeah, but like... I just because it's made of metal, I imagine like the, the point of its nose is sharp. Because it's metal. Let me, yeah. and spiky. Let me double check the damage type of... Uh... Oh no, not, not the damage, just enough to score the wood. Just enough to void your deposit, not for mechanical Damn purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's already happened with the possible blood anywhere, so... Uh, this is a... You know. Well, well th this part, this is taking place at the bunkhouse. Yeah. And it's it's a bunkhouse. So <laughs> the yeah, ship we, has we, sailed on that. Yeah. Uh Surya will just be okay. And she's just gonna go walk <laughs> to eat something. She she's just thinking to herself how she keeps picking up these creatures. Cause this is number three. <laughs> Aldrich did that one, not you. Yeah, but like, this is, I have now been imprinted on by another creature. Slash, another creature likes me enough to not immediately kill me, so. I mean, I think you won, regardless. Yeah. <laughs> IRL, yes, I did win. I have a, a blade robot. Tiny, good boy. You, you can pet him, just make sure you go with the grain of the spines. Not against no it. Uh, no, yeah, no I response. Just, I just went with the low roll getting it, because that first initial moment of, oh, fuck. Yeah, shit, fuck. <laughs> so look at uh, Archimedes, I go, which way is with the grain? <laughs> Not Front against Front to me. back. <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> Okay. Charlie, you're not a child. You know how to pet things. <laughs> well, actually. Not robots. <laughs> That's why I was like, well, exactly, wait. exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Like you would pet a hedgehog. 
See, now that's a reference I think that would land more. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just hear Serial say, what the fuck is a hedgehog? Hey, I pet you, Archimedes. <laughs> Archimedes gives you a head cock. Please. Thank you for phone. <laughs> Is otherwise unresponsive. I will slowly reach out a hand. And I will just start to begin to touch fur. Metal? It's metal. Metal? <laughs> is it a... Uh, is the... Is he a uh, pretty Metal Gear Solid? First of all, how dare you? <laughs> that was... That was a stretch right there. Uh, it, was, it was supposed to be a stretch. It was supposed to be bad. <laughs> Expert in acrobatics, everybody. Really stretch that pun. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> okay. Expert in acrobatics, <laughs> not performance. Yes. That was just to make my own pun about stretching. Yeah. The Archimedes bot is incredibly passive when not in combat mode. He's just... are it, are, does it have blue lights that turn red in combat mode? Please. Probably right. <laughs> Charlie will continue to softly pet with the spikes and nice Archimedes. Good Archimedes. Like, Dempsey doesn't you know how to talk to this. <laughs> somebody's somebody's going to like wake up in the middle of the night and robot Archimedes is going to be lamenting about not being able to eat french fries anymore. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, the worst. Perched over their face like a cat. I can no longer taste. <laughs> but like a size category medium cat. Jesus Christ. I want outside. Now I want inside. I can no longer Let fly. me in. Uh, that is worth mentioning. Archimedes is size category medium. No. Yeah, he's he's a you can pick him. I up. love the feeling of wind on my face, and you took that from me. You were too fat to fly, anyways. Archimedes is is Mister Freeze now, I guess. I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh my is that god! That what I'm drifting into? I I feel like I feel ah, like that's where the it's warm going. sun upon your face. Anyway, stay cool. Wait, <laughs> God. The ice, so ice to meet you. Ice to meet you. I know, in the Batman, Archimedes. the animated series, Mr. Freeze was a bummer. Yeah. It was all existential dread. Instead of ice puns. But kill the anyway. dinosaurs. The ice age. Yeah, not like, I cannot feel a hand caress mine ever again. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, Charlie's so gonna, big big day. I was yeah. gonna just walk straight to her bunk and just face forward. Just, instead of like that like um trust fall, she's gonna do the four trust fall and her <laughs> her cot. Before everybody Bam. goes upstairs, Simri comes in <laughs> and uh, Jesus fucking like, Christ. Like, says to everybody, like, wake me when the meeting starts, and then, like, intentionally sprawls herself across the meeting table to fall asleep. The Simmery? What? Yeah. No, yeah, she in comes just... in, says, wake me when the meeting starts, and then sprawls across the table. The meeting with Rosalag goes, which she's oh. talking about. To oh, guarantee that she is there when the meeting starts. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Animal Sunder's just like, who is this? That that is a a friend, Simri. Ah, Serial. Like the adrenaline, the adrenaline has left Serial's body, and everything from earlier is now hitting her. And the ability to speak words has left. <laughs> she just wants tea and sleep. Hmm. 
just imagining that, like, constantly relieving that moment of meeting Alomar and, like, I really, like, I was correct, but also I underestimated her. Yeah. Because <laughs> she came at you. Yeah, she really did. <laughs> like, no, like, hands down, she would have killed me if I did not open up with trying to disarm her with my scorpion whip. Yeah, and if you had tried to 1v1 her there at the party, or yeah. at the execution, she, she would have, have rocked your shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, Surreal also remembers one <laughs> other thing about Sayuri. Also, Yes, she likes drugs. Yeah, because uh, because a uh, spoiler, she has uh access to spiritual weapon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cleric spell. Just hey, makes a weapon out of force. Cool. Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, actually, I I say that I don't know if she actually had that. I'll make sure it's not a high level spell now, because I don't want to be crazy. But like, like her not having a weapon wouldn't have been that much of a problem, is what I was saying. She still could have fucked me up. <laughs> Yeah, she could have fucked all of us up. So yeah. yeah, definitely get it. Yeah, but I was I was just referring specifically to like meeting her there after the execution. Like if you had tried to one v one her, oh, yeah, would yeah, not yeah. have gone well. Yeah, uh, yeah, she after, yeah she could have had that prepared. Yeah, after uh, the telling the most minimal inform telling Mister Anvil Sunder the most minimal information about Simri Serial is just going to. Turn about and walk upstairs. <laughs> yeah, it's just friend, thief, drugs. Upstairs she goes. <laughs> she has a cup of tea and a, some food in her hand. She needs me time. <laughs> Mr. Anvil Sunder is also going to go to bed. To sleep off the ghoul fever. Yep. Cool fever. Yeah, and uh and it does in fact pass. Mm. Uh the night yeah. passes without without issue. Everyone's uh injuries are healed. And I had a it's... question. Oh, sorry yeah, go ahead. to interrupt. Um Schles made a really interesting thought or typed an interesting thought. Does mommy visit Charlie in her dreams? Um, no uh you do however have a dream where steven is sitting like across a crystal ball from you and his head lowers like it's where you only see his reflection through the ball he gets the like third vertical eye in the middle of the forehead affected briefly and then the knowledge of your second level spells comes suddenly into your mind. Hot damn. Okay. Damn. Surreal is the cool, last actually. one to sleep. <laughs> yeah, because that is, like, that's got to be a crazy thing for a spellcaster is, like, you didn't learn the spell. You just kind of figure yeah. it out. Like, it just this comes is... to you. Like, like oh, oh I cool. I know how to, like, vomit a swarm of spiders now. That's cool. This is great. This is a great thing to have. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, because, like, you, you, the player, get to choose these. But, like, in, in world, those are automatic. I'm like, guys, check the shit out. And just <laughs> open <Right>. up. <laughs> yeah, so, like, so, like, Charlie didn't pick that. <laughs> I can vomit rats now. <laughs> that's exactly why when I was reading the spell, I'm like, that's a mommy spell. That's mm -hmm. definitely 100% what she would give. Yeah. Yeah, she would. I just, I also kind of, I was also kind of prepared for, obviously, I take Scorching Ray. because <laughs> I'll learn it. Don't worry. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying Comment. you should. It was just like, that was one I figured was also a likely pick, is all I'm saying. It's a cool um, one, for sure. That is. Suriel is the uh, last one asleep tonight as she's just thinking and having a hard time going to sleep for various reasons. It's anxiety.
yeah, night passes uneventfully, and morning arrives. Everybody uh, collects for the meeting, I presume, with Rosalago. Very yep. sleepily, but yes. We have a usual time. Would we meet Rosalago, or is it just when the birth, like when he think it's like? Yeah, he he wasn't specific, but that like. Normally, when somebody says in the morning, like sunrise is colloquially understood to be like the beginning of that. So when the sun peeks through the windows and and it is the day after the equinox, so you have a pretty good idea of when the sun will be rising. Yeah. If you know your. I forget the word for it. I'm, mm, yes. Anyway, you know your seasonal daylight shiftings. There you go. Um, but yeah. And he contacts you via the candle. The phone? Yeah. Um, and well, remember, this is before, like, he has previously used it, an ignition of it to, like, pinpoint your location for the teleport spell. Mm hmm. Uh, which is, you know, something that is helpful when you're coming from farther away. 100% call Rosalago. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, it's like he's done before. The candle lights. As soon as somebody picks it up, he says, okay, hold on, and then teleports to you, having made the contact. Uh, and does, and uh, he brings breakfast tacos this time. Yes! <sighs> breakfast tacos! Now I want tacos. I hope he also Brent brought breakfast. Purpose. This purpose? Yeah, breakfast purpose. Okay. This altered. Gonna lie, I kind of thought Schluss said breakfast pussy, and I was like, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Just... Yeah. <laughs> He hands you a small oak box that contains the feeling of an eccentric billionaire buying one of your old designs out of R&D to use for his superheroics. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what the I'll fuck? Just eat that shit up. <laughs> Everyone moves to the other side of the table. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just essence of lucius fox yeah <laughs> can we make the episode name breakfast pussy <laughs> mm. where did that come from <laughs> well because i said yes, i literally thought said pussy. breakfast pussy and i'm like what oh no i don't want to do just, that well we know just what's just on your mind correctly it, that's what's always on jess's mind this is nothing <laughs> new <laughs> we know what's on jess's mind breakfast now you know <laughs> right <laughs> You didn't know then, you know, sure the fuck no now. I feel like that's a good episode title is Essence of, and then whatever might happen later. If not, then we'll... <laughs> what about Full Country Breakfast? Full Country Breakfast. Oh, uh, <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Uh, I'm write this down before uh, I forget. I'm, I'm going to yep. just put that on the folder now before I forget. <laughs> Uh, meeting. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, oh man. So, Ross Lago. <laughs> Tell us a scoop. So, I talked to the Baron about it. And after we've done some research on, you know, what, what the setup is out there, and we found the location of it. So we, you know, know exactly where to send you and we think it is wise for your team to head out there now we think whoever whoever is gonna actually take up arms against the state they have some plan to leave town in the next week or two but if you go out there now destroy their leadership it'll break their spirits right spirits mm. <laughs> they'll give up hope for good. So he feels 
it's a uh, safe bet. We can, we can oh. do that, yes. Consider yourself under orders. Go to the Court of Spears. And uh, everyone out there, enemy of the state. Got it. Kid gloves off. <laughs> On the inside, Serial's like, finally! <laughs> but going out there, getting the network, the leaders, Stalish and their deputies, all important. But the elimination of this LV is to be accomplished at all costs. Is that clear? Uh, clear. Got it. Indeed. The Baron insisted that I ask if the term there was clear because yeah. he means all costs. Yes. I understand. So, if I run away, I'm fired? Mm, you could call it that. Got it. This um this a part of our usual weekly salary or are we going to be compensated bigger for this order? Is the Baron offering you a chance to restore his faith in you? He has a bigger task in mind, and this is whether this, this is a test. For the bigger task. Okay. And for. Given that this is your imperative, I don't think going out there right away is wise. We need to go around, get some materials. How long is it going to take to get there? Two days walk. Day on horse. Okay. Question um, is, does everyone have enough to afford getting a horse? No, I am. Well, as of just last episode, you would have picked up a considerable amount of material that you could, you know, barter. Oh, yeah, that's true. I have it all written down. I just forgot. Uh, yeah. yeah, you should all have a hefty amount of cash on hand right now. Yeah. yeah, we didn't get around um, to selling that yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we, we can without too much hassle. Um, All dead or but, any survivors? I'm sorry, go ahead. What were you asking, Jess? Oh, I was just... I, I, didn't mean to cut James off. Oh, um, I was just gonna say, uh, yeah, he, uh, it's spec specified LV, whoever it is. Try to bring her in for questioning, but, you know, don't, don't risk your lives if you got a chance to kill her, you know? But, any of the other officers, if you feel they have some tactical significance, you could try, but they've all been perfunctory sentenced to death. They're enemies of the state. Okay, we can kill them. Good to know. Capture the leader, kill everyone else. Got it. Mm-hmm. 
Is Archimedes just hovering in this entire meeting, just like standing in the background? <laughs> oh, right. I had an important question. Um, I think I might have missed. Did uh, Rosalago teleport in or? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then shit. Um, Archimedes is chasing a fly around the room. Okay. <laughs> well, if it was just like an illusion hovering in the air, Archimedes would be trying to grab it. But since. Yeah, no, he, he teleported in because he brought he brought food, remember? Fist tacos. Right. I thought so. Yeah. And your uh, breakfast your purpose. Breakfast. Yeah. However, I don't think going out there immediately is tactically prudent. Uh, do you know if do you know if the Baron has given us a time period of when he wants this done? Or is it just as soon as possible? It's as soon as possible, but I convinced him to allow a day or two pause because Stalish is still out there. Mm. Her and her deputies have the entire corridor between here and there to ambush you wherever they please. I think we need to lure her in and take her off the board before it's safe to send you out there. So if she it's hits oath. you from behind, she's going to slaughter you. It's Oath Day. Hmm? You know, Do we know if LV is for... We don't know. We have Male no or male or non-binary or... We have um, no idea, I don't think. So Riley described the Angel Knight in, with female pronouns. Okay. Um... You don't, however, know for sure that A, the Angel Knight and LV are the same person, and B, whether Riley's description of this person is even accurate. Because it's Riley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Surreal will... Oh my god, sorry, I have hiccups. Uh, Surreal will sit up from her seat and is like, no, it's Oath day, which means I have to feed Nalenka. So I can go and speak with her and see if she can scout the whisper wood around where she is and let us know if she's seen any of them. That's a good idea. Should probably bring a little something extra then. Oh, of course. Yes. Um I feel like my presence should be enough, but I am also crunks. <laughs> oh. Drugs. Before before we do that, I thought we might uh ask an expert witness. Um This is why Simri is here. Oh. <laughs> Still sleeping on Drugs. the table. Everyone looks at Simri. <laughs> Drugs. Drugs. Yeah, he wakes her up. Tell them what you told me. Oh, um, Oh, the way to catch her, you can't follow her, any, you know, Nalinka or whoever, cover her tracks, you know? Not gonna be, get her to come in. She'll come, she'll come back for me. Yeah, that, she like, kind of like finishes waking up, like, yeah. She'll come back for me. I'm the bait. Turn to Semri, or I, I, I turn to Serial, and I go, did you get all that? It would make sense. Uh, okay. Essentially, we use Semri as bait. <laughs> She's crafty out in the woods. She would hide her tracks. So even if Nalinka did scout, it would be hard to spot where she's been coming and going. That's the shit she's good at, is what I mean. So it would be smarter, get her to come to us. I am bait. She shows up. We get her. All right. That's the hope. Now, you know, management. Yeah. Is going to leave the call up to you. You want to wait? Or do you want to go now? Before that, we also have Snivy, the 
I don't know how this keeps happening, but I have a uh, animal-like companions. Snevy is the fae at the front gate. We can have them watch to see when, if the plan goes as planned, when, uh, or if the deputies get close to the town. Just another thought. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he's through the closed gate, so it's unlikely anybody does come through, but you can yeah. keep a lookout. Yeah, that's what I mean. He can just keep a lookout. Yeah, he can do that. Um, but yeah, it is up to you guys. You want to risk it? Uh, or play it safe? I want to get supplies. Motor potions. Yeah, we need supplies mm-hmm. and to sell some extra shit. Yeah, we don't know what we're getting into. We need to be prepared. Anything a day to prepare? Yeah. Um, Schlessel is our oh, geez. Nope. I'm knocked my microphone against my table. Schlessel is definitely pro lure them in plan, because then I could finally use Aldrich's snare crafting feet. <laughs> oh, it's just been sitting there waiting. I can make traps, y'all. Yeah, um, Grapes is also in favor of luring. Oh yeah, definitely. 100% in favor. <clears throat> Get him on in. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to purchase supplies and things we need and then um, just kind of be on standby until so something happens. I already did the calculation. If we sell all the silver items from the church, everyone, and split them amongst the party, everyone gets 11 gold, 7 silver, 5 copper. Dang. I think that was part of the plan anyways. Was to uh sell most of that stuff unless unless Aldrich wanted something. Did Aldrich want something? I'm willing to part with some precious metals, I guess. I mean you could also like you could keep your eleven GP worth of silver as silver if you wanted. You no, know, I think there was some discussion of horses. No, it's just yeah. uh, when we go to uh Yeah, that's yeah, that's renting horses to travel out to the place. Whisper yeah. The court of spears. There we also, go. Uh, the other thing to consider is if you wait for a raiding party to come in and you take them out, maybe free horses question mark? Maybe free horses. Maybe free horses. <laughs> <laughs> Selling that brings me to enough gold to get a potency room. All right, Ooh. yeah. But that'll take some days. Yeah, That's it does. True. It does, in fact, take time to apply. So it's a gamble. It's Do a you sticker? think you'll have enough time before Rona comes into town? Man, that's what Trump said. I'm sorry. I know he did. Um, anyway. <laughs> that, um, yeah. Uh, Making that decision is a good place to cut this, I think. We can go to our break. Yes. And then when we come back, uh, we'll play out the resolution for Rona coming to town and see what happens. Rona or Simri, you mean? Rona. Simri's here Rona's with you. coming from Simri. Yeah, the plan Where? is... Oh. Sim, like she, yeah, Simri said that before Rona abandons town for good, like which would be when the people leave town to go join the rebels in the woods... Before that happens, she would come back for Simri. Gotcha. Simri is I, I positive thought, of it. Gotcha. I, I thought you were talking about Simri being in the room. Never mind. No. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's wait. Yeah, it's yeah, waiting for Rona to show up. Um, nice, Auntie Rona. Yeah, yeah we will uh, play that out next time, and it's going to be a yes. fun one. I'm gonna buy I need some to shit. Make Wait, who has extra to... poshy posh? 
What? All right. We had some uh, extra potions. Episode out. Recording stop. I don't think anybody has extra potions. At least um, I used all of mine. Yeah, I used all mine too. All right. Well, looks like we'll need to buy some more. Oh, yeah. I was so close to being able to afford a potent or a striking ruin. Well, oh, well, here is what was inside of the pack. Uh, the Jesus fucking Christ. Patrick Scott and Elixir of Life. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just buy a couple potions. Fuck off. I put uh, in session notes exactly what was in the chest <clears throat> that we got from the church. Uh, I don't know how we're going to split that up because we never really got to talk about that, but. Who did we settle on? Who was getting the uh, Wayfinder? No, we didn't. I would like but one of the oil. <laughs> I mean, maybe we didn't settle on it, but I thought Aldrich was getting the the thingy yeah. inside the Wayfinder. The uh, yeah, Aeon, the Aeon stone. stone. Yeah. Well, if you're getting the Aeon Stone, you might as well take the Wayfinder. The Wayfinder, yeah. Just get bonus. It doesn't matter. Stuff. Yeah, but it, it gives, makes literally no difference to Aldrich. Yeah, it gives resistance okay. to negative damage, oh, that's right. which I am immune yeah. to. Yeah, so the okay. Wayfinder's abilities of light spell whenever you need it, and also a compass. Might yeah. be handy what for was, someone else. What was the wand on uh, Talavia's belt? Heal. Heal, yeah. Which none of you can Charlie? cast. Uh, oh, I was right. um, going to get then. trick magic item. I was going to, but didn't. Die hard. Uh, <laughs> so, James. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I put in the chat that instead of taking assurance, I'm going to take prescient planner. Um, okay. I wanted assurance because while I was mistaken, uh, I was under the impression that it would let me uh, activate overdrive reliably because it's a DC 18 and it would give me a 21, but it yeah, only it gave me a 17. Taking so, it now would allow you to do that at fourth level. Well, the DC raises with my level. I mean, eventually it'll probably catch up, but... Oh, then whenever you get to master, it would be... Yeah, so... I do so seventh really... level want that right now. So yeah, I don't have a pressure planner. We do have four Thunderstones and a Cloak of Feline Rest. I forgot we got those from the uh, Armory episode from Dent and that one rebel we killed. Oh, um... You, you've got Lesser Elixirs of Life written there without a number. Uh... It was just one. I didn't mean to put the S. It's just one lesser elixir of life. Oh. So I'm gonna... I gotta go to the bathroom, so I'll be out. Uh, yeah, yeah, 20 minutes. 8.40. Okay. Back in it. Okay. We do Stretch, still have... water. Yeah. All we that good stuff. We do still have one invisibility potion from Riley as well. If anyone wants that. I'm good. But I do okay. want one of the potency uh, oils. Oh, yeah. You can have that. Can, um, you can have the other or Aldrich can have the other. Yeah. Uh, Schles, are you still here? Yeah, what's up? Uh, the spring sheath that attaches to your forearm, would you, would Aldrich be able to craft that and attach it to the dagger pistol that Surreal has? Um, I'd have to get the recipe. And um, the bleh. And then, maybe, probably. Well, because I have the actual, like, the whole device itself. It's just combining the two, I guess, is the the recipe that you would need. Right. We got that. Yeah, because we got that from Riley. Oh, cool. Um, actually, I should be able to reverse engineer it if I do need to craft a new one. Yeah, because that would actually be really nice to have. 
Because I was thinking, like, I don't think I can reverse engineer things because reverse engineering is a feat. But the feat just gives a bonus when you do it. So oh, okay. Should be able should to do it without the feat. Yeah, yeah. That's something to ask James when uh, they come back. The other bonus is uh, if you get a critical success on your reverse engineering, you don't have to have destroyed the item in the process. <laughs> oh, know, yeah, that can, would be nice. <laughs> you can put it back together if you have the feet. Right. Uh, anybody want thunderstones? Or am I just going to yeet those to Charlie because I know... Or Jess, because I know Jess will probably want those for Charlie. Uh, Charlie can. Okay. Considering getting. Lesser ones are 12 gold. Right. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let me go look at some potions and see which ones I want. Hey. So this does mean that now Aldrich has a pearly white spindle. Yep. Circling their head. Yeah. Thirty six. Uh, I think it's I... well look at it. I don't rotate the other way calculator. Thank you. Can do distance to bludgeoning weakness fire. I know, did we use one of the cheetah elixirs? I had the one on me, but that one was the one from Aldrich. Yeah, cause, uh, cause, so we still have one more, because we also got one from Riley. Oh, I, yeah. I can take that one, too. If I wanted it. I'm just I'm joking. Slow. Anyone can have it. I know, this is like, some, anyone can have it. Okay. There you go. You now have another Cheetah's Elixir. I love how you can just buy a fucking fist. <laughs> <I'm> sorry? <laughs> if you look on the archives of Nithis, and you just look through the <laughs> equipment, and fist is one of them. That's not so you can buy it. That's I the stats for a fist. It's just it, on the same, it, it it's a funny thought. What was it called again? Che cheater elixir. Yeah, cheater elixir. Uh, da -da 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 adventuring gear. I. That is the wrong thing. Need to look at what's in an adventurer's pack. Adventure River Reverse is what I typed. We can split up that two weeks of rations between, well, the three of us because Baldrick doesn't eat um, normal food because we got that extra adventures pack. Oh. Give me the ghost food. Yeah, sorry, there's no ghost food. This is racism. <laughs> Wait, the ghostism? This is prejudice. There, there we go. I have the bag of holding.
Oh my mm-hmm. god. You did what?
And I'm back. Hi back, I'm dad. Oh my god. Well, maybe turn this podcast around. <laughs> Also, I have a cookie. 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 So who's having fun on the shopping montage? Uh, I like window shopping. <laughs> oh, right. Um, regarding the, uh, do I think I'll have time to get that potency room uh, installed? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just use the cold iron longsword in the meantime. There was something I needed to ask James when break started, guys, and I can't remember what it was now. I should have written it down. Fuck. Oh, well, must not have been important. Oh, the spring sheaf. Good thing yeah. I still had my notes open. Um, what about would it? Would Aldrich be able to either reverse engineer it or somehow get Suriel's um, dagger pistol to be part of it? There you go. Dagger pistol is too big. It's too big? Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, a little slim throwing knife is like the biggest <laughs> thing it can fit in there. Okay. It's for like no. a blowgun with a dart or a potion, like little things like that. Okay. Or a derringer. Yeah, there is a, like, a, I think it's, I think it's called holdout pistol. There's one that's like specifically, it's super tiny. I think it's mm-hmm. called coat pistol. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the coat pistol, which is yeah, the I coat, have. a coat pistol or a dagger could fit in it, but not a dagger pistol. Okay. Dang. Well, it looks like I'll just need to find another one to have the dagger in one, and then the coat pistol in another. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah, it's it's the fucking <laughs> the one from Wild Wild West where it's just the little like cuckoo clock arm. <laughs> it just pushes it into his hand. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> We're in the steampunk flintlock pistol era, so makes sense. Yeah, like the when it's when it's potions and vial stuff, like it's literally just a spring that releases, mm. so it just like pops up into your hand. But having healing potions in there is also, like, a really smart tactical move. Yeah, I was thinking about just putting one of the healing potions in there. Because then, as long as you have a free hand, you only need one action to heal. Mm Mm-hmm. Action economy is the killer when healing is critical. It is. Yeah. It's the only reason I I survived that ghast fight with minimal damage. Because I worked really hard to use my action economy to its best ability and now you're a little sturdier for it yeah yay other than yeah, potions I, love, I don't really think I want anything I love that like witch wizard Alchemist, like they have effectively infinity spells known. <clears throat> Ooh, they do. Yeah. Yeah, if you. <coughs> oh, don't die. Me. If you devoted the time and expense to it, a wizard or a witch could theoretically learn every spell on the arcane spell list. Every Someone's done one. it out there. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have done it. Like, for high-level characters, there's no reason not to. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And, like, same with Alchemist. They they get a certain number of free ones per level, but you could, you know, in addition to that, just take the time and effort to learn everything. I think that's neat. How many items is Suriel going to have on her? Yes. <laughs> There's encumbrance to think about eventually. Yeah, 
yeah. bag of holding, baby. Yeah! <laughs> also, Cereal's obnoxious strength is gonna hold her over for a bit, so... Yeah, you can carry, what, like, bulk eight, I think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's... Carry I think eight it's gonna, bulk worth of stuff. I think it's gonna go up next level, I think, so... Uh, ability score increases are at fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Fifth level, thank you. Baldrick, you're taking a cold iron long sword. Yeah. It's been in Aldrich's possession. Oh. I'll take it out of mine then. <laughs> Wait, no, it is fourth. That you get ability score increases. It's no, it's fifth. fifth and, is it? Yeah. Yep, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it was. I, it's. It's fourth in first edition. And there is uh, an alternate rule to questions. more gradually get uh, ability score increases. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Hey, James. Yeah. If I were to sell something with it, like a weapon I don't need anymore, is it like, do I get half the price? Uh, it's it. The default is half, uh, and then you can roll diplomacy to like negotiate for more. No, no. I got a minus one diplomacy. Or no, I got a plus four. Still not gonna do it. Yeah. Hey guys. Um, what? What about some? I was just looking at like worn items and consumables. Uh, seeking bracelets. Just in case mm. something happens. Seeking bracelets. Yeah, uh, so they're magically linked to interact with their counterpart from the same pair. When you crush the largest bead to activate the bracelet, it creates a mental alert in the mind of the wearer of the paired bracelet. This bracelet works at uh, any distance as long as both of them are still on the same plane. So, you know, as long as you're not incapacitated, you can warn anyone else if we get separated in game that something's up. <laughs> Just a James call because it's an uncommon item. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What are those called? Uh, seeking bracelets. I can send it to you. Put it in chat. I just been putting it in session notes. I got it. My gogufu is strong. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, these are tied to an event in the Threshold of Knowledge adventure. Okay. So, mm, sorry. This is fine. This, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Mm. Hey, it costs you nothing to ask, mm. so. Right. That's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other any other housekeeping before we uh, roll into the episode? Smoke fan is another thing I'm looking at. You can just be a fan of smoke. You don't get to spend any money for that. Yeah, I am. A, I am a fan of smoke, but I was also like a fan that emits smoke. You know. It's a gadget. Yeah. <clears throat> Also uncommon. Mm -hmm. Also uncommon. Yeah. Well, gadgets are are uncommon by default because they are technical items. Um, however, inventors automatically gain access to gadgets for common yeah, purposes. So, Aldrich crafting a 5GP item for you is on the table. Surreal walks by and throws <laughs> money at Aldrich. No. <laughs> well, Aldrich would have to get the formula for it to be able yeah. to craft it. It's just for for the purposes of it being common or uncommon, it's common for inventors. Then spend four days crafting it and then even more time. Right. Unless you just pay full price. So. Yeah, yeah uh, and if you wanted... If you wanted to uh, use the Ross Lago Express to purchase one from an area where it's common, like Alkenstar or Dogen Hold, yes. then it's uh, the additional 
tax I mean, for that's... him using his his devil magic. Yeah, I mean that's not bad. So yeah, probably just yeah, do that, that because it's a that, really that, that, useful that, item. Yeah, though those apply to if it's if it's uncommon, but any particular region it would be common in, then mm -hmm. you can have it. But if it's like requires membership with a group or something, then no. Okay. Aldrich might buy a gun like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a gadgets. Hammer gun. Any anything with the gadget trait, it's inventors and people who are from regions like Alkenstar and Dogenhold treat them as common. Mm -hmm. So yeah, teleporting and to one of those places, he can just buy it. And Ustalav in many cases. Yeah. I think that's it for me. Yeah, the two. While that deteriorating <clears throat> dust looks nice, I don't need it right now. Yeah, the the two the two places I named were for uh, this one in particular is a gunpowder gadget. So oh, Al Alkenstar and Dogen Hold are the two like gunpowder focused places. Ustalov mm -hmm. has electricity. That's yep. a cauterizing torch. <laughs> Here you go, an arc torch. Um, yeah. Also <laughs> uncommon. That one's from Ustalov. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Aldrich would have access to that. It was just something that caught my attention that I missed the first time. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Hey, hey, where's the locker? I'll pick up some of my notes from my office. Yeah. Uh, same same deal. If he's just <clears throat> teleporting to Uslov and can purchase it normally there, it's just charge yourself the item plus twenty percent for convenience fee. Didn't mean to do that much math. Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, it's just for every five GP, you have one extra GP. Or for every GP, two silver. How about that? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, for every I don't GP, know why my brain understood. Yeah, I don't know why my brain understood the silver explanation rather than gold. Because uh, you're making teas mixtures and stuff, so fractions and portions. Uh, yeah, you're right. That, that, yeah. <laughs> See, Thanks. I thought See? ahead. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'll definitely be getting that uh, smoke fan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can just have that stuff. Uh, his teleportation is instantaneous, so it only you know takes him as long okay. as it does takes him to find a vendor and conduct the transaction yes. and then he's right yes. back so yes uh yeah any other any other items that we're questioning whether are available or not i mean mm. i guess i'll ask about it for later so i can remember it later but the deteriorating desk Deteriorating dust. Yeah. <clears throat> that is a hard word to say, Jesus. Uh, access follower of Rovagug. Ah. Okay. So. Uh, I still kind of want to. Unless, play. unless you're making some lifestyle changes. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and that might be with a different god, who knows. Still kind of want to play a cleric of Rovagug. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. Just like the cartoon version of an anarchist. Yeah. Shit, that's not that. God, you should have it. Like, the character should be, like, it's a half orc, so they're an adult, but they're 14. And it's just like, yeah, <laughs> fucking anarchy is just breaking shit. Yeah. <laughs> the anarchy! Fuck everything. <laughs> Burn the world to the ground. Yeah. Um, any other... Um, this is a political philosophy. <laughs> yeah, any other, any, like, common items that you would want to purchase, you can just, like, <laughs> deduct the cost. Excuse me. And we'll go, like, you know, like, alchemist fires and, like... Ooh, yes, alchemist fires... Yeah. I always forget about alchemist fires, and I feel bad. Yeah, but like any other like low-level alchemical items. I mean, I think everyone's getting healing potions. 
Well, yeah, but other stuff like uh, like cat eyes and. I don't know if there was any shit? other. I probably did. Yeah. There's like uh, different mutagens and stuff that mm. tune right. your body for a specific task. That's the other thing I was supposed to look at, but those other things distracted me. <laughs> There's one that's like, you're faster, but a little bit more fragile. <laughs> you're fast, but snap real easy. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's like cool cool stuff like that. The dark vision potions. The potions of leaping, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because the other, the other thing that you have is a little bit of intel about the location. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, uh, like, Rosalago went and looked it up, and Charlie, knowing what to look for, could also easily find this in the town archives. That, um, the fort is among a stand of Titan Aspens, as previously mentioned, which are, like, gigantic, like, megaflora. Mm-hmm. Um, the fort itself is, like, an Ewok village kind of scenario where it's built into the sides of living trees. And the majority of the area and like platforms and such are about 50 feet over the ground. So, okay. um, and it's going to be in living trees situationally. So like that is the tactical situation you need to plan for. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, any any effect that grants you feather fall might be a smart thing to have. Yeah, yeah. Or Just things that boost your shit athletics. Hits the fan. Yeah, athletics and reflex saves to uh, arrest a fall and stuff of that nature. Because fall Stay damage is, Mr. is nasty. Thunder. <laughs> That's a question. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to post it in session notes. Can you tell me a little bit about spell strike ammunition? Ooh. So it sounds like I cast, um, I, in order to use it, I have to choose the correct type of spell. Like there's different levels depending on the spell. spell. And then I activate it by casting a spell to the ammunition so for so i'm act so that's activating it so basically am i holding this thing and then putting my my two actions to cast the spell into the ammunition then in my third action throwing it or am i thinking of this i'm, I'm reading it now okay Hey, would Charlie be interested in a potion of expeditious retreat? I bought one. Oh, you did? Cool. <laughs> You're like, yoink! I have mine. fleet step too, so, but yeah, like if I want to save yeah. a spell slot, yeah. Just well, expedi the potion of expeditious retreat gives you the fleeing condition. Those are words that I don't understand. So the oh, fleeing condition means so you must run away. Ah. So this doesn't list any duration or time limit. Ah. So from what it sounds like to me is for the price of 12 <clears throat> GP, you can gain a permanent one-time use battery containing a first level spell. So then, gotcha. okay, so then, so I'm... In order to activate it, I'm activating it by casting a spell. So basically, I hold. The, so basically, if I let's say, let's say hypothetically, we get to the fort, and I had one of these spell, one of these um, ammunitions prepared from let's say today. You know, you, you you know where I'm going with this. So like basically, it's an extra, like a, like an extra. I could have. Yeah. And then and then to act so my 
I guess I, I'm confusing myself. I, I prepare it whenever, and it, there's no, I don't see anything about, like you said, uh, it deteriorating or, you know, and poof, gone. So then in combat, it would be two actions to activate it because I'd be casting a spell to activate it, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't see this. I don't see doing this in combat. Like, okay, I'm going to take a... That seems clunky. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand why you would do this. This Let's one I would cast a spell with any range at the range of your ranged weapon. Uh, okay, that's that's what it is. It's long shot. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. I Can see it that also now. be like given to someone else? No, because part of the activation of casting it is that it immediately fires itself. Oh. Uh. So like. So like you can like, like you don't even have to have a gun. You can just hold the bullet in your hand. Oh. And cast the spell and the bullet like fires itself is how this is describing itself. Okay. Uh what? <laughs> I think you got to fire it from a weapon. Uh, what it doesn't say here? anywhere in here that you have to have a weapon. It just says yeah. you have to have. Yeah, but you, you can't make a ranged ammunition. attack roll with just ammunition. It's magic. You need a weapon to do that. I mean, even even to say I like I could do this like in, you know, like I I bought a, a sling. Like I I have sling. You could bullet. you could cast it on a sling bullet, yeah. Or I have telekinetic telekinetic projectile. Uh, so if you read telekinetic projectile, that spell specifically says that no other effects of the object other than the spell damage. Mm, that's right. Happen. Yeah. 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 So that's that's the uh, the specific rule. But yeah, you can still do that with your sling, or it could be a crossbow bolt. Which those I'm I'm I can. Um, you activate the ammunition by casting a spell on it. The spell has to be a level that you can cast. The spell must be able to target a creature that can cast your creature hit by activated spell strike ammunition is targeted by the spell. Not yeah, so I lost. think that's just implying that, like, you need to be able to project the ammunition if, as if it was... I mean, yeah, should. yeah, you just, yeah, use the result of your ranged attack roll instead of the spell attack roll to determine degree of success. Oh. Yeah, so it, it lets you, yeah, let's use your spells at ranged weapon ranges instead of spell ranges. <clears throat> I'll sit and consider it. I've, this is something I would be pondering for when we go to. Um, this also doesn't say that it's consumed when you do this, so you could go pick it back up and use it again. Well, that's covered under the rules for magic ammunition. Yeah. Okay. Regardless of whether an attack with magic ammunition hits or misses, launching the ammunition consumes its magic. Okay. So that's, so it's twelve for a one-time use. That's a lot. But, but it allows you to do like shocking grasp on an arrow. Yeah, yeah that's you true. Could, you could put it on a bullet and then shoot a gun. That would, that would, gun that would also range be sweet. And do touch. Yeah, I'm spells. not. I'm not saying it's not it's, useful. It's just it's, it's actually, that's a lot for a one-time use. A it is very expensive. I assume they're just like careful to not allow it to be abused. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they are super useful, so making it pricey is the control. This would be kind of like something that I would... I'm considering it based on 
be um, objective. Ooh. You know what I mean? That we're trying to get this LV uh, person and yes. what's up? This in a uh, in play chat. Oh, hold on, I was in my different tab. One yeah. second, sorry. Play. The thing I just posted. Up the invisibility potion? No, in play, the thing I just posted. Uh, oh, in the thunder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thunderbird puffed? Mm hmm. Read that. But uh, also, yeah, that question still stands. If anybody wants to split uh, a healing, paying for a heal, uh, invisibility, we person. have one. There we go. We have second. one. We oh, have so one. you want to buy another one? Is what you're saying? Yeah. But I feel so like many that's tabs up. Right. I feel like the uh, Thunderbird Tough would be something Charlie is interested in. Oh, that is cool. It's really cool. And it's only three GP for a lesser? <gasps> mm hmm. Yeah, and they're yeah, cause they're also like one-time use. Yeah, it's a cons oh, that's so cool. I'm also gonna get a hunter's bane, cause holy shit. Also, cause I'm trained in survival, so I can do that. Got so off focus. I forget what I was gonna look. Oh, I. Let me let me do, do you want do you want an answer now or can I answer you after um uh no no for the, for the common stuff yeah you can just uh, up until the point you head out into the woods you can add or subtract whatever you want I don't okay. I'm not worried okay. I'll I'll sit on it I'll sleep on okay. it and think yeah, I want to spend it's... 12 GP on something that might not be that be useful work. correct Like God, I posted a, a potion of green wormling breath. Uh, it's so nice, but it's thirty GP, and I don't know if it'll be that useful right now. Mm. And that'll literally clean you out. So, if you wanted to sell the uh, heal heal wand, you could try to trade up to a wand of manifold missiles. Oh, that's true. You could do that, Jess. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I I wasn't listening. What were you saying? Said if you wanted to try and sell the heal wand, you could try to trade up a little bit and get a wand of manifold missiles. Oh. I gotta see how much oh. a heal wand sells for, because the manifold missiles is pricey, but... I don't remember off the top of my head what a heal wand spells, sells for. Uh, let me look heal. No. Um, Did I be... Would I be looking for the cost of uh, um, that spell slot wand? Like, however much that wand would cost? Yeah, yeah, they're 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 priced by what level of spell they contain. Oh, let's see. I, I have to look this up every time. I never remember where it is. Brain. Ooh, there's also an Onyx Panther that allows you to... Oh, uh, okay. Uh, unlikely, because a standard first level spell wand is 60, and the uh, Manifold Missile is 160, so never mind. You could knock off 60 up from that so i i might you know be able to just sit yeah if you could come up with 100 gp that might be worth it because wand of mm. manifold missiles you can cast you can cast magic missile and it just keeps spitting out free magic missiles after that is what it does mm.
a wand isn't uncommon, correct? Or manifold. No, yeah, it's a common weapon or a common mm-hmm. item. Okay, if you cast magic missile after you cast the spell, an additional missile or missiles are released from the end of the wand at the start of each of your turns, as though you cast the one action version of magic missile. This lasts for one minute. So that's pretty sweet. That's mm-hmm. pretty nice. But anyway, let's uh, get this episode going because we've been <laughs> yeah back been... for twenty minutes. Hey. Hey. Goodbye, Bella. I'm closing the door. Door has been closed. Wish I had a door. Cat the tree. <laughs> I don't have a door to my office. That's that's why I'm like, I wish I had a door. <sighs> okay, so I am recording. Record. Turn my fan off once everybody is going and start the sweat monster phase again. Okay. I, uh, Nope, can't do that one. Not a member of a secret society yet. Yeah, and that's and that's why I was telling you like what the rules are for the uncommon stuff. Like anything, yeah. if anything, access is just a location. Rosalago can get it for you. Yeah, that one literally the the only way I could use it is if I was part of a secret society. Yeah. So. That's just a quick, easy way for you to know that it's oh, a no oh, without oh. needing to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have lots of thoughts. Uh, Jesser's, uh, because I overthink and I can't stop thinking. Stop uh, is Charlie... <laughs> yeah, let me just stop thinking. Yep. Is, uh... <laughs> is Charlie I'll, I'll getting any it. news... Is Charlie getting any uh, spell scrolls? Um. Oh, well, for our do- our downtime, you mean? Yeah, like is is she is, is are you well, planning? Well, you on can getting... also just purchase scrolls to use yeah. them as scrolls. Yeah. Yeah. Any any spell that is on your spell list. So for you, any arcane spell, you can purchase a scroll, and that's like a one time use battery spell. that contains that spell yeah oh bella was on the bed <laughs> uh, i was uh i was gonna purchase one and oh well i should say like maybe two um why do you ask uh oni it's just a reminder if you were going to oh okay yeah like for example magic weapon which is the effect of oil of potency. It's a different way to get it. Wow. Possibilities. Yeah. Yeah, and same with wand. If if it's a wand of a spell that's on your arcane spell list, then you can just use that wand as a once per day spell battery. Hmm. That's why I have that for my mage armor. Wanda exactly. Yeah, exactly. I forgot you had that. Um, yeah, because yeah, you can then do I that. can save that first level spell. Yeah, any other, any other, like if you wanted to also buy a wand of shocking grasp, like as long as you have the cash, go for it. Um, I already have the wand of shocking grasp. Well, another one. Oh, another. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I have, or or a wand multiple. of burning hands, or a wand of. I feel like I want to make a keychain. Like a bracelet of all Bandalore of wands. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then just have them at, like you know, like in the old like old days, like there is, um, times. Who actually? There's an item that's perfect for that. It's called a sleeve of storing. Sleeve of storing. It's it's mm-hmm. yeah. It's 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 a pocket in your sleeve of an extra dimensional space. It can store up to eight items, and they. Which just like whichever one you want is immediately available to pull out of the sheath, and it's like you literally have an ace up your sleeve. 
So you could have eight <sighs> wands just up your sleeve. <laughs> and you could have two sleeves. Sleeve of storage is 100 GP. <sighs> okay, One so me have tactical question. Go for it. Um, are we going to be like advertising, perhaps subtly, but advertising Simri's location so that we know where she will be attacked? Attacked. Um, or what, what's well, the I mean, plan there? Like, how are we drawing them out? Um, I mean, obviously the Ash House. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Right on. Okay. Can you, can you throw us there so I can do some trap planning? Yeah, give me one hot second. Give you a hot second. Yeah. That was one very hot second. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, secretly. Oh. Oh. Secrets. No. Oh. Secret tunnel. They might be hiding some things. A tunnel. Yeah, I'm. I am removing uh, some tokens from the visible space. Whoops. <laughs> yes, do that before we move. And. Why won't you select? Why isn't this working? Roll twenty is not cooperating with me, and I don't know what it is. Like these tokens don't. a bitch. These tokens don't appear. There we go. <clears throat> they weren't appearing selectable at any view layer, and that was frustrating to me. Roll twenty. Oh, roll yeah. twenty. Why are you so jink? It's a funny roll twenty. <laughs> also, just to be sure, um, my interpretation of this is uh, if I were trying to apply a poison to a snare, it wouldn't work because the snare doesn't do a strike, and injury poisons require a strike. Is that? Yeah, accurate? I think. I think it would more depend on like. Also, oh, there's the... probably a snare that's like you can put a poison in here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Player view is now at the Ash House. Yay. And I want to start the episode before we get into home aloneing this place. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because <laughs> it's good. Because, yeah, we were supposed to start like half an hour ago. Oh, uh, you know. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, so, Grapes, are you recording? I am. Me, am I recording? Yes. Jess, are you recording? I am. Meow. Oni, are you recording? Yes, sir. Sless, are you recording? I am. All right, then. Sync clap in three, two, one. Our story begins, as such stories often do, with laying the ground work for some Home Alone shit. Um, Favorite time. <laughs> Hello. Um, hey everybody. RPCs having uh, <laughs> having realized there's a very obvious location to set this ambush. <laughs> right. We have a a lot of very obvious areas, and I like it. <laughs> yeah, now. I think I think people know where Simri likes to hang out. What? Yeah. No. Now, before before you get too far into like trapping this place, mm -hmm. uh, when you know when we're doing our cost benefit analysis, remember rangers. Yes. So reflex, good at reflex and perception. Okay. So, I yeah, I'm just making a legend right now. Schlessel. Oh. No, I Schlessel. Schlessel. Yes. Oh. So, what? would you be down with the idea of trying to limit the number of possibilities they could enter the estate? Because, is this, like, open, like, collapsed wall? It's, over, over here. like, there's rubble of the upper floor piled up there, so, like, 
consider that pile as being a complete vertical up and down wall. Okay, so this There's like there there is playing. wall right here that they people cannot enter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that area is not passable. Um, yeah. On the however, end, it would be really, it. really easy to, like, get through it if you were inclined to, you know, siege tactics. It's yes, not it's not reinforced. It would be very easy to tear down. Well, hopefully these rangers don't show up with the trebuchet. Well, no, like I'm saying, like, people, like, could do it by hand. It would take them a few minutes, but they could do it. You know what I mean? Okay. So I have the idea of boarding up this back door so that's one less entrance that they could go through. Okay, smart. So I could assist Aldrich in doing that. I'm assisting yeah, Aldrich in making I, the snares. I, I wouldn't even really require a roll for that. Like, just... Like, wedging the door shut is super easy. Cool. Ooh. Um, another good thing would to be even having traps inside. <gasps> oh! Oh! Yes? Yeah. Yes? How hard would it be to get the bullet up in this bitch? To get the what? The ballista. <laughs> well, oh. where would you put it? On uh, the top of the stairs. I wouldn't do that. What? Like, structurally speaking. Oh, you're not fun. It's, <sighs> it's not. This place is not structurally sound. Um, but then, like, I don't know, right here? Yeah, like, walking upstairs is risky. You want to put a siege yeah. weapon up there? Sure, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. I thought doors were supposed to be good at architecture. Yeah. But uh, fun overrides good at architecture. But also, dwarves ain't the ones who made this place now, is it? So, Wait, um, hold on, dwarf floor check. So, it's a DC 21 uh, perception check to... Uh, Notice one of Aldrich's snares. Okay. Oh. Uh, just have yeah, have that ready for when they start having to roll Looking against around. it. Okay. Um. And only someone, only a creature that is trained in perception, which I imagine all of them will be, but only oh. a creature that is trained in perception can detect one of my snares, as I am an expert in crafting. Wow. Uh, yeah, they uh, they may or may not definitely be expert in perception. Just possibly, maybe. Okay. Uh, James. Yeah. So if I put put it, like, right there, it's like a, a two-by-two square for a ballist, that ballista, right? Mm hmm would it, would it be possible to just slap it right there? I mean, it would... How, I mean, like, how would you get it inside? You'd have to, like completely dismantle it and bring it in and then reassemble it how long would that take yeah how long would that take how willing is aldrich to do any of that leg work well aldrich don't have legs so oh my god <laughs> well by leg work i mean the like because it's it's craft skill taking it too. apart i'm trained yeah. in crafting I know. Um, in crafting. Time actually isn't a huge issue on that one, though, because uh, one of the cool things about snares is they only take a minute to craft. If you oh, we're do, talking about if the ballista. We're talking about the ballista. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm saying the snares won't take time away from oh, uh, how long do you think it will take? Thing. Yeah. So what uh, is what is the limiting factor for snares? Is it just like how uh, much money they cost, or yeah, money? Okay. Which We've already settled because Serial 100% funded the snares. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then, however, however many you have the uh, the funds to create, you can place. Uh, just oh, choose so we can do this event. Yeah. Uh, what snare? I I remember 
plus you said yes to my idea of having some of the traps inside. There we go. Those are words. Uh, uh, yeah, no, do you do you talk to Simri at all about trapping this place? Yes, 100 percent. Oh, because uh, she also informs you that she has planted uh, assassin vines on either side of the front door. Oh, oh perfect. What about yeah. the fireplace? <laughs> that's a good uh, that's a good point. What can we do with the fireplace? Yeah, um, well, she also, because Simri, rogue type, uh, mm -hmm. has, has done some other, uh, so, you, yeah, there's assassin vines on either sides of the front door. Um, both of the front <clears throat> windows here have a, uh, a lock that is trapped where, like, when you lean down to look into the lock to pick it, mm -hmm. uh, it fires a bolt through your eye. <laughs> Perfect. God. Nice. I still have... I don't know if they work. Okay, so I think a hampering snare by the front door is a good idea. Okay. Because that makes um, a 10-foot uh, square of difficult terrain. Okay. And, if, and that could help them assassin plants. <laughs> or, you know... Just really close off the front door as an option for them to come in if they spot it. Yeah. They spot that and the assassin vines, that they'd probably just be like, nah. What poisons did we get from Jexy again? They're hunting spider venom. There we go. No, we didn't we sell that when we um Did we? We did. We used it used yeah. it when um Anvil Sunder and I were um freaking uh, war weir beard there we go wear boar yep yeah we wanted it Lord. i wanted to keep it so bad <laughs> right then why didn't you put more of your own money in? <laughs> we didn't have, to to have that much <laughs> I put in something else that was really oh that bronze dagger that's what I think I put in it was what well, yeah it doesn't matter but anyway I'm still bitter about it <laughs> right <laughs> um so yeah what do y'all think about maybe like a spike snare in front of the window or yeah that's a good idea like that behind the windows and then uh. Unless someone else throws in money, we've got money for one more snare. How much money you need? I was, I was thinking maybe, well, no, that's probably too big an area. Uh, each snare is going to be three GP. I'll throw in, yeah. yeah I don't know. <laughs> is there an obvious square, James, where an alarm would be useful on this side? Uh, what side? Is it like... Uh, over here where they'd have oh, to over there, um, dig through is it like if they're digging through they're going to dig through here or is yeah that... I, would, I would say for that purpose placing it like at the top of the pile on the second floor would be your bet because if anything in the pile shifts the top of it is going to shift you know that's like over here yeah okay um, yeah anybody else got any ideas so the hampering snare, like I said, it creates the difficult terrain. Um, gotta remind myself what the poison bar snare does. The uh, spike snare is nice because it's a basic reflex save, so if they succeed on the save, they still take half damage, so they'll still take a d8 stepping into that square. I am buying... Uh, Serial is also grab some black adder venom. And I don't know how to pronounce this one. Sittle, uh, Sittleesh oil to put on um, the uh, window traps that Simri set up because they shoot a poison or they shoot a dart into an enemy. And the only way the poison takes effect is through injury. So. Those strikes. What? 
Yes, they are. When that's a question for James. Are those going to be making strikes? Yeah, like that. That the trap's purpose is to deliver poison. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. They are. Um, let me. Yeah, and the poison barbs snare. Not going to be super useful. It deals a D4 of damage on a DC 15 basic reflex save, so basically well, I expect them to save, to succeed the save. Well, yeah, so but even, even, the other effect. even if they only take one damage, that's that enough for be. an injury poison to take effect. Yeah. Like that's, that's the purpose well. of those things, is it only has to do one point of damage to deliver an injury poison. Oh, uh, no, it's poison is... Already part of it. Oh. Uh, and the thing I was talking about earlier was injury poison. Say you have to make a strike. Oh, a strike. Sorry. But if the, um, because the traps that Simmery has specifically. Actually, let me look up. No, not on that tab. I need that tab. The ones uh, she has are a plant that strangles you and. A crossbow is rigged up on the other side of the door, like, uh, like in a modern movie, it would be just like a shotgun with a tripwire around the trigger. Mm. Like it, these are not sophisticated poison traps. It's when I said a bolt, I meant like a crossbow bolt. Mm. So um, would they be? Con- so I'd grapes. be able to put poison on it. Grapes, Jess, you got any ideas for other spots um, we might want to put a trap? I'm still wanting to use the ballista. I can't think of anything else. I... Right. But I don't think traps interfere with ballista. Well, I mean, it's part of a trap. The only thing I was going to suggest would be perhaps um, you could cast grease on the steps oh, at, like yes, in a specific yes. location. Yeah, that works. That's what the snare does already, basically. Okay, so but then and I don't know. Mind. We could save money or James. I can't remember spell slot upstairs. Which of the walls? Uh, none of the walls are broken down. Correct. Use a spell spot. Uh, in the upstairs. And... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, if if the if there is a wall on the map, then that mm-hmm. wall is up enough to be considered a wall. Okay. Um, like, yeah, so like here where it's open, like this isn't wall anymore. It's collapsed. Obviously, yeah. But this is still wall. Yeah, are there any, like, I'm assuming not because they probably tried to do the best they can, but like no large holes in the ceiling or anything? Oh, yeah, no. Like all the dark parts are fully open to the sky above. Okay, good to know. Yeah, like when I say half the place burned down, I, I meant like. I mean, it's it, yeah. I just yeah. needed a better visualization of it all. Uh, another thing I will say uh, in favor of Grease versus the snare is that um, the snare could be disabled. That's true. Something. Also, Although, I guess. Always dismiss the spell Grease, too, but. Notoriously flammable. Mm hmm. I guess if we noticed that they disabled this now, you'd be like, hey, Grease. <laughs> grease. Oh, I'll... Um, do we want to put a spike snare up on the second floor in case they try to climb through that window? Yes. I think that's a good idea. I think so, too. I think of what else I could. Man, I wish we had heat metal. Uh, <laughs> what? Heat metal. <laughs> Just having thoughts of different ways to fortify this place as best as possible. And you're thinking about Home Alone. Yeah, I'm thinking about Home Alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> heat metal on that fucking doorknob. Hell yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Jess, you'll need to mark off three gold for that snare. Or let's say two. I'll, I'll provide one of the other gold. All right. Uh, any other preparations before we uh, commence to 
waiting for the trigger. Hmm. What I want to do really isn't a, a, a thing that is required to set up the house. It's just a rule oh. that I want to make. Also, I have a terrible idea for a trap we could use. <laughs> okay. We could put a spike <laughs> trap at the top of the stairs. And then if we need to, like, you know, do a little retreat, you run up the stairs, you have to jump over the trap. Yep. <laughs> if you fail your athletics check, you will get hit by the trap. It's okay. It's only DC5. <laughs> How do we feel about danger trap? I mean, I'm fine with it because... I have to here's, roll. Here's a question. Why are we talk why are we talking about falling back upstairs in the first place? I mean, uh, just in case. Because there would be a trap. Okay. It's a, it's a it's a trap to trap them into another trap. No other reason. Okay. I mean No, I'm s- scared of less I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna say that one is gonna require some construction um the only other thing i wanted to do is since i have <clears throat> eh, sorry since i have schooled in secrets does surreal see any like symbols and shit around the ash house on the walls or anything if she if you know since it's been a place for squatters No, most of the graffiti is like pictures Mm. more than like words or symbols. It's like, ow, yeah, like a crude scrawling of a dick. That was simmering. (laughs) You were reading my mind. (laughs) Here's one that says Charlie was here, Jester Lavore was here. (laughs) Here's another fun idea that that every person wrote in their high school notebook yes yeah there's right. like there's one drawing where there's like one dick drawing and then clearly a second one drawn like over it where they're cross and above it it says sword fight oh my <laughs> god <laughs> perfect uh what's up <laughs> Current less. do do we want to uh maybe grease up the walls a little to make them harder to climb because if there's holes in the roof then climbing is an attractive way to get in i mean yeah. It's especially believe... for rangers. Yeah. Rangers. Especially... Right. I will then be happy to dispense some grease on the walls. Dicky. Dicky. Um, I don't think we need to so, use spell slots for that. You don't think we can just get actual grease? It's a, yeah, it's <laughs> relative to the size of the house. The, it's a pretty small area, I think. Right? I see. Since most of it's burned down. How so, much do you think that would be? <laughs> yeah, uh, grease, the grease, the spell has a duration of one minute. So also yeah. keep that in mind. So we're um, just going to get actual grease. I, I looked it up. The grease spell is not actually flammable. House rule? Our grease is flammable? Does, does it say it's not flammable? It doesn't no. say it is. No, but you did. conjure grease, and grease, the substance, is extremely it's flammable. It's actually not that flammable at room temperature. It's flammable enough to set on fire at You're a thinking point. of oil, which is different from grease. It's fair. But you can set because grease Because grease at room temperature chat. is just fat. And, and then... At least partially you... emulsified. Yeah. Yeah, well, fair, also, but... Okay, but imagine stepping into hot grease. Uh, well, uh, it doesn't say it is hot grease. Well, I mean, if you set it on fire, I mean. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't say it's flammable. Be normally, fair, it, not, normally not if it, it up. No, uh, but if, if, if it you, was the intention of the spell, it would probably say yeah. it is flammable. So, no, I'm so, saying if. So the way that it works is if you apply an open flame to solid grease, it will very quickly liquefy. Right. Like it's, it's, it's flashpoint properties, which is what we're talking about here. Like say a flame strike is a ball of fire suddenly hitting this grease. 
Like that section would would cross its flashpoint chemically. Like it would heat but it, up. It wouldn't. I'm not necessarily light a talking about setting it up. I'm not. It. it would be extremely yeah. flammable. We're not. Ta- not I'm not really talking about that. Oh anymore. yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm talking about like if you if you throw an alchemist fire or hit it with a with a produce flame, not like. That well, shit right, really yeah, really but hot. the point yeah. of it is that so. it's not extremely flammable. It doesn't... If you if you put a torch to the grease spell, it won't ignite the entire area of the grease spell. Yeah, we know that. We're, we're talking well, about Well, that's just what James heating. was yeah. kind of implying it would do. No, we're talking about just heating it, like, when you put grease in no, a pan no, the, but yeah. the initial thing was james stated that grease spell oh, yeah. is incredibly flammable when that well, yeah. and, moved all on. That it does. and i maintain that that is the case <laughs> anyway um okay. so by my math for every 10 feet of the wall we want to cover in oil it's going to cost five silver <laughs> You did the math. Or for wow. every five feet of the wall. One silver for every ten feet. We'll pay for it just because you did all of that Sorry, math. One gold. I swear. Jeez. That I'm very impressed. Like I was like, oh, I'll just like just chip it a couple. Well, okay, so one copper piece of oil worth of oil covers a five foot square. I counted fifty five foot squares in the perimeter of the house. So that's five silver for each five foot like level of the house. Be painting that mofo for a while, right? They're like, why are they why are they oiling up the house? <laughs> and also important to remember on the second floor, like these parts where the rubble is, like, those are also partially collapsed, meaning there are gaps and breaks in the outer walls. Yeah. As well, so. Like, that's where they would be getting in, so greasing that part of the wall is different than, Very like, important. the part they're trying to climb up. Yeah. Well, we're just greasing it all, is what we're saying. <laughs> okay. All of it. Let's get that house nice and lubed up. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll increase the DC of athletic checks to get into the place. And yeah, Altric will pay the two silver to cover the first 20 feet. That's you probably more it. than would be needed. But, you know. Because of the gaps and such. Yeah. They also cover take the psychic damage. <laughs> they also take psychic damage when climbing that wall because the ghost words of, <laughs> of Schles saying, let's just get this house all nice and lubed up, still linger. <laughs> Um, and then, I don't know how much time we're, like, taking or how much we're in control of the time. Uh, Aldrich will help with this ballista plan. We try to put that in place. Yeah, and I'm saying I, it's, it's unlikely that you will have that complete in time. This, this stuff takes, you know, like, a couple of hours, but, like, the ballista is a whole ass thing. How long would that take, if you had to guess? The ballista thing. Well, <laughs> oh, it would take... it'll it'll take exactly. DM doesn't want us to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you kill you kill the people that know how to work the thing. So, like, figuring out how to take it apart without breaking it is going to be a craft check. Yeah, we have two people <laughs> trained in craft. One's an expert. Hey, everyone's trained in craft. All right. I'm just, I'm I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying it's not guaranteed to be a success. What if I get a critical success on my crafting? <laughs> so go ahead and roll that crafting check, guys. What are you, what are you waiting for? Okay. This is a very <laughs> tense moment. <laughs> Believe in you. I think, I think a 16 is bad news. Uh, I rolled a 12. Does that help him? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Me roll. Well, guys, you tried. I try? Yeah, you can try.
uh, what are numbers? 23. Damn! So 14, and my crafting's a plus 9. Who got it? Charlie figures out how to take it apart. <laughs> sound so disappointed <laughs> also we're, we're we're in a town full of veterans there isn't one other person that knows how to use a ballista well it's as as he rolled over the number that i had set i realized the other reason i was gonna say it's probably not worth the time is you guys are gonna be strongly advised not to be here not to yeah you're gonna want to not be here because be they'll the know if all of you are here waiting for them well, yeah. They're rangers. Like, this trap only works if Simri's at the house by herself. But she. Can we is. recon? Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying nothing. Yeah, so, like, the, the snares and stuff are still helpful for that. But, like, before you go, is like, that. that's why I was saying the ballista probably wouldn't be worth so, it. That's, so I just, just had forgotten that part. Screen? <laughs> there we're taking our time trying to figure out you how will, to take the ballista. You will get apart. an alert when they arrive and rush over to a scene in progress is what's going to happen. I see. Oh, <laughs> we're just at the armory trying to figure out how to take the ballista apart. <laughs> like how the fuck? I need you to not be here for cutscene stuff, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Donkey. Shit, sorry. Uh What's up, grapes? Yeah. Nothing. Okay. I think we're good. It's then. just like, you know, thought we were all just going to be there waiting for them. No, that would. That I would know, be, but like. Yeah. Yeah, a, a I, bunch of rangers are going to. Notice that shit. Yeah, they're, they're going to see five sets of tracks going into the house and get and suspicious. Like, what the fuck? Don't be suspicious. Which Don't they won't be. see if we go in and then leave. Well, they will see that you what? left. Unless, oh. unless we walk out backwards. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. I'm, not, I'm not saying you can't try to fool them. I'm just saying you would have to make the attempt. Could we at least leave one? Well, we could try to leave one other person there. But it would have to be someone with Okay, better style. idea. Better idea. Y yes. Aldrich, who floats, can sweep up the tracks. I imagine Aldrich leaves drag lines wherever he goes because no, it's he, just tippy toes. They, they float. No, that's just that's just in my brain. That's just in my brain. They float. They're above the ground. Could we yeah, so like that... cover our tracks? Yeah, that is a survival skill roll. Who has the best uh, survival? It's not a roll. I just looked at it. It's a. Uh, it's an it action. It makes your. Uh, yeah, it makes the DC your survival DC instead of whatever the normal DC yeah. for finding your tracks would have been. Well. Yeah. What was I thinking of? It's oh, you have to be you have to be trained in survival to do it. Oh, I see. That's okay. what I was thinking. Who has the best survival? What's everyone's survival modifiers? Uh, not on right. Thunder. What's uh, numbers? Sorry. Is anyone trained in survival other than me? Aldrich is what you call an inside kid. <laughs> yeah, if you're Probably. the only one who's trained, then you're the only one who even can. Yeah. I guess, I mean, I could stay. We can cover all of our tracks. It's a travel thing, I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, I'll just cover everyone's tracks. We can all stay on yeah. different levels of the house. If we all want to go the plan of staying inside, which I'm assuming well, we will. But that, that, that's that plan... what James already wrote down. Sorry. Go ahead, James. I'm gonna say that plan also only works if they don't have like somebody like 
they already told you they counted how many people went out and came back when you went out to the fort, right? No. What? Remember, it said we counted when you came back from going out there and there was one person missing. Like, we knew you left somebody out there. Remember that bit? Oh, the, uh, the, 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 I thought they were also... talking about because Uktuk Guard. died. Yeah. Oh, they don't care about Uktuk. Well, that's nice. So they were just... But one of their own died. Their own. Hmm. Yeah. Um, You're on the bad guy team. Right? They don't like us. Wait, that guy yeah, was so... a rebel? I mean, even then, if I cover our tracks, it's still... Yeah, I'm saying that Like, even, even if you successfully do that, it's still undone if anybody is just... Like, oh, I saw them go out there. Have they come back yet? Oh. No. Okay, we'll wait. Yeah. Okay. That's that. I was a little confused on that. Thank you. Um, that's why I'm like only one person staying is yeah, a so, better idea. So it's a question of do you want to risk that? This is, again, I'm not saying you can't attempt this plan, but it I'm might telling not. you if there is something like that happening, then it'll kind of yeah. mess some stuff up. Guys, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, no, we'll, we'll let we'll do it James's way. Yeah. Thank you. It's much easier that way. I don't have to roll a bunch of opposed stealth and perception and shit. Well, I mean, I still kind of want to. You, you, you know, it's like we'll, we'll do it the way the GM wants us to do it, not the way that we'd <laughs> like to do it. I mean, I, I do still kind of want to stay. <sighs> I'm... The thing about staying for me is um, we're going to be almost um, cornered. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's the problem, but also <laughs> it has a... Hmm. I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons of staying. Oh. So well, one of the cons pro, is it might make all of this a waste of time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, What's pro, up, you, uh, one person is less likely to be noticed than the whole gang. Yeah. Uh, con, split the party. Except yeah. before they noticed when a single person didn't return. It's it's less likely to set it off because it's just one person. And like it wouldn't be unusual for someone Semri knows to visit Semri unless, you know, they <sighs> like, here's the thing, yeah, not knowing it, what they that? might also consider it worth the risk to go if there's one other person there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh, Surreal's gonna stay. She has the best, uh, best survival and I think stealth of the party anyways. Okay. I think uh, we need some sort of communication for you to, like, let us know that they're here or what do you, um, maybe I'm just... I mean, I. Yeah, that's the other thing. Figuring out how to communicate when this shit goes down. Razalago. <laughs> oh, Razalago will let them know. Yeah, he. Uh, if if the plan is for you to wait there, mm -hmm. he he can also be here and teleport to the others as soon as something happens. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, however, that means. Mm -hmm. That help is, I mean, if they rush 10 minutes away. Yeah. So we're going to do a thousand rounds. With Fucking just what? <laughs> with Suriel and Stemry. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I was drawing attention to it being split the party. Yeah. Suggestion. When, oh, go ahead. In Simri's plan, where it's just her, like, she knows 
that Rona is going to try and talk to her. That's true. So her plan is have Rosalago alert you when they ride up. Uh, okay, yeah. So that, that was if easy. things okay. go bad, you'll arrive in time to make a difference in a fight. Then yeah, then I'll, I won't stay. That was, that was the question I've been wanting to ask and I just kept forgetting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Simri, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simri will elaborate that that is her plan when she initially proposes setting the trap. Mm-hmm. That's a trap. <laughs> yeah, and I, I should have said that before. Sorry. No, uh, it was a lot of talking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, that, uh... Yeah. We'll all be in the same place. Leave Simri... At the Ash House, I chug soda. That was a mistake. <laughs> all righty then. I will take all of us back to the jail view. And I'm going to set some stuff up. And then, um. Uh, <laughs> the thing that you're waiting for will come to pass. Eventually. Yeah. I imagine since it's a, uh, you're waiting for a call kind of situation, mm -hmm. everybody's super tense, right? <laughs> Trying not to be super tense. So, like, a little... <laughs> Raising for Resolago, waiting for Resolago. Can all yeah, be tense? At any moment, like a yes. like a firefighter, you're just gonna get the call of like, "Hey, right now." Is someone yeah. You'll see Charlie. Go. You'll see Charlie just like kind of combing her hair, like just trying to like, just really tugging at it, like nervously. Um, She's like she's just trying to keep busy, but like pulling her hair for basically pulling her hair because she knows like she wants to be just there right now. Yeah. The real is just practicing sword swings, you know, practicing her form and that's how she stays calm. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, the weight, it, uh, it, it drags, it gets into two, three days. And then days. Yeah. Days. Yeah. Oh. It makes sense. Days. Three days go by of just waiting. Till finally night of day three. Just as you're starting to wonder, maybe I'll go to bed early tonight. Damn it. Like, like it's not as evening is falling. It's like right as it's truly dark. Yeah. Rosalago pops in. And says. Rona's at the ash house now. Oh, I'm not running. Making our way downtown, walking fast. Four riders, five horses. You said. Four riders? Sorry, repeat that. Yeah, he's four riders on five horses. Okay, I um, mixed up the word riders and horses in my head. <laughs> He then, like, starts to say another sentence, stops himself and goes, ah, screw it, and pulls his eye out oh. and mm -hmm. plays you a, um, anybody ever watch Cops where you see, like, the helicopter footage where it's from far yeah. away and it's kind of shaky and black and white? Yeah, yeah. It's helicopter footage of four riders on five horses uh, skirting around the town wall and going straight to the ash house. And arriving outside, um, Simri comes out to meet them. They, uh, the two talk, uh, things quickly become heated. 
horse. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as they move like back into the house, they're starting to like jab fingers and chests and make <laughs> bigger gestures. And like it's, it's getting heated. Okay. Uh, and then they head inside. Uh, carefully, like, uh, the, the snare is difficult terrain, yeah? Uh, yeah, the, the hammer yeah, so like they, difficult they, terrain. They, like, like, both, like, gingerly high step through it, like, mm -hmm. still, like, hassling each other, like. Um, awkwardly walking around completely trapped house while trying to have a walk up to the front door yeah and then a uh, bottle of glue explodes around their feet yeah <laughs> sorry I imagine Simri would step to not step on that right sure but what about Rona yeah like you know the person we set up the traps for I think after seeing Semri step over it, they probably also would step over it. <laughs> would Rona do that? <laughs> yeah, they're if they're that like that close together, because like she knows Semri does this shit. I mean, Semri could just be like, "Oh, don't step there; it'll break under your foot." Yeah, it could also be that. Yeah. Because you don't want to spoil the surprise. Yeah, exactly. Not until, not until, because you guys are the trap springing. Yeah. In the grand sense. We are the trap. Wait. Huh. Yeah, and so the last thing you see before the recording stops is one of the other riders uh, gathers up the horses and takes up a post outside the house. Mm -hmm. uh, a few, the the two others uh come and stand in front of the porch and then the recording is out and Rosalago says that's when I came over um hurry we're off no questions asked from Surreal she's off first one out the door hey people Good time and um, but when you arrive at the Ash House, there's going to be a few uh, immediate questions mm -hmm. that you have um, when we arrive. Um, one of Jeez. which is, yeah, clearly more people than you were told to expect. Uh, and the other thing is that the Ash House is once again aflame. Not surprising. But <laughs> it's called the Ash House for a reason. Yeah, because it half burned down before. And yeah, it is uh... on fire again. Yeah. What? I didn't do it. Hey, don't do I that. didn't do it this time. <laughs> Charlie's like, it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. And uh, what happened is uh, I'm not going to like play mystery with it. There was a. Uh, Another group on that arrived on foot in the time mm. since. Uh, but yeah, as you see, the um, the guys that you saw post up during the recordings are here and here. Uh, but then there are two more slumped in front of the windows, and mm. then you can see oh. the uh, an additional two, like standing on either side of the door. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> the uh. Uh, question On about the, the two. Yeah. Question about the two slumped because these are where I put the poisons. Yup. On. That's also uh, where Samri put the crossbows. Yeah, that I put the poison on said crossbows. Yeah. Crossbow bolts. Yeah, and uh, uh, once once you have arrived on scene, you can uh you know perceive what's going on there. Uh, but before. Yeah. We start with that. Are you guys attempting to approach stealthily? Or are we just coming full speed? What's the uh, what's the approach? Suriel is stealthing. Is anybody else stealthing? No. I will attempt to. Oh, shit. 
I'm good at stealth, yeah. What was that, Schlaff? stealth with you. I said, uh, shit. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> that's not an exact <clears throat> answer, but it gives me a feeling, you know? <laughs> you didn't... Uh, you asked what I said? Okay. The DC of this stealth check is 18. Hey. Oh, fuck. I'm using a hero point. Because I feel <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> and it's a, a 24. Nice. Okay, uh, Charlie is the knight. I... Rolled... Is that a nine? I only rolled a 15. That is probably going to be one of the worst ones I can roll for now. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I was right. Society and stealth are the same number. Ugh. Yeah, uh, so Suriel fails in the stealth approach. Which uh, yeah. sucks. Oh! Yeah. Mm, I can't retcon that. It's too late. I forgot I oh, had an invisibility uh, potion. Archimedes bot not stealth. Yeah, uh, would you at least be like stay a little bit further back to allow them to stealth, or are you just like still clamping up full speed? I'd, I'd follow, uh, what was his face? The little Anvil guy. Sunder? Anvil Sunder's lead. The little guy! The little guy, thanks. Me <laughs> too. Oh, you know, the see through one. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal How dare you? Oh. That's ghostest. I'm going to reveal a little bit more, like, just the rest of the way further down the map. Just this place yourself where you would be approaching. Um, for Surreal, I'm going to say your detection radius is going to be... Okay. Yeah. Pow. 60 What's feet up? is your detection radius for this race. I'm going to apply that oil of potency. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that as well. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Good let's cheat a buff. Actually, let me see something. I cannot get my token on the fucking board. It doesn't want to do the thing. Oh. Let me see. There you go. There it is. The Thank you. Mr. Anvil Sunder, um, as he does, front and center. I... I don't really know if... Because I just remembered that I wanted to drink my invisibility potion since I was stealthing, but I know it's a bit too late because I already rolled. Uh, eh, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Save that for a getaway. Yeah, that's so I was like, whatever, it's fine. I think I'd be in front of Charlie, so. If I can grab yeah. Taking the lead? How the fuck I'm doing? Yeah, so that, that 60 feet is where they would detect you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm keeping a 15 foot distance between me and Charlie and to measure that out to make sure. I don't know why this is not working for me. I can't move my cursor or anything. Uh oh. I don't know why, but in my head, we came from the left. Uh, I would recommend closing your browser and opening it again. Yeah. I will try that again. I did is that. Is your is your oh. mouse wireless, by the way? No. Try it now. Uh, um, uh, if it's an actual hey, mouse, it's working. Yeah, there you go. Yo. Yeah. So I don't know why Surreal, it was that sixty feet is where they would spot you. trying to suss me out at 60 feet. <laughs> well, I'm saying Charlie could get further forward, but yeah, you would be detected like there. Would cool. I be detected? No, uh, Surreal. Charlie, you you beat their their DC. You could get. Yeah, you could get a lot closer to them. Oh, um, there's a dude over there. Oh, no. I, yeah. There's a guy. <laughs> Um, what, are they making like, oh, that is not the right thing. Making any like aggressive actions or anything. Charlie, back up. Uh, well, when, when you enter their detection radius is what's mm -hmm. going to proc entering initiative. Oh, okay. 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 Is, is why I'm like saying that's where you'll be when that starts. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Go. Yeah. 
Yeah, so any okay. anybody else would can, could then place their distance relative to you. So, like, the non-stealthers would be probably further back. Charlie could be a little bit further forward because she succeeded. Okay, a very be... small distance. Would I be like that far? How far would I be, would I need to be to be undetected uh, from them? So I would say you could get within 30 feet of them. Within 30, okay. Yeah, before they would spot you. Right here, um, Charlie. With your, yeah. Or right. Jess, right here. Yeah, because cause the way the lighting is, just for, for everyone to picture it, is the ash house is on, is like there's, it's lit from within. So light is coming out that window across them. So you're coming in from the darkness. You're going to be kind of like blurry and concealed to them. So yeah, you're within 30 feet before they spot you. But Surreal makes enough noise that they deduce she's there. This is 60 feet. So if uh, Chess, if you want to come from like a side or something, you can still. That's do exactly that. what I wanted to do. Yeah. Go um, ahead. Hold on. So my intention is that Anvil Sunder be front and center to draw the attention of all the everyone while the people sneaking can go on oh. off to the side the one person sneaking now because i failed uh, oh, do we still detect this person sneak because i could try and deal with that person if we've detected them i feel like because they're out there with the horses probably have detected yeah. them yeah he's he's in the same spot that you saw on the video, so he's still okay. We good? Um, almost. Hold on. Um, uh, okay, 30 foot line. Oh, reading spells? Yeah. <laughs> so, it, this is still 30 feet. Could I be, like, right there? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, as long as you're, oh. as long as you're not, yeah. I yeah, heard this gurgling meow. Yeah. Buster. Woke up. Hey, Buster. Yay. I heard his meow. I Been a pain in the ass all day. <laughs> I'm good. We all good? Yeah. Grapes? Yeah. Okie dokie. Be good. Let's go. All righty then. Uh, let's roll our initiatives. Initiatives. I think you said I don't really need to ask, but crafting. Nope. You don't need to ask. It was very clear. <laughs> that is. Well, excuse me for not having a perfect memory. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 19. You're excused. Um, yeah, so I got a 29. Jesus. I'm going to stop using my dice for a bit. I feel like they're going to betray me. And the Mine's Sandra 23. And okay, there we go. 12. 23. Right. Uh, what, is your, what is your modifier, Charlie? Uh, my um, perception modifier? Yeah. A state. Okay. All right, Amble Sunder? 12. 
All right. So, surprising nobody, uh, Aldrich, begin combat. Yeah, yeah. He, vi- he vibrates. Okay. First things first, uh, overdrive. Ew. All right. That's a regular success. Nice. Uh, next, um, command minion. Who's okay. going to run in this direction? Yeah. And then He's run more. Go num num num. Num 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 num. And then be out of actions. <laughs> okay. Hello. Aldrich will go there and be out of actions. <laughs> Lots of moving. All right. Uh, there is a uh, clashing of steel and voices heard from inside. Uh, through the window, you get a brief glimpse of a uh, Simri with two knives and Rona with two axes are like fighting in the living room. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that happens. Uh, and then it's Charlie's turn. I will cast something called Grim Tendrils. Ooh. Charlie what? likes tentacle porn, confirmed. <laughs> uh, so it's a 4 to 2 DC. Okay. Uh... It is a 30-foot line, so you're targeting both of these two guys here on the porch. That's 40, it says. Oh. Uh, yeah, if it's, so if the, it's a 30-foot that... line, you'd only be able to hit that guy. So is that dude down, like dead down, or...? Uh, this person is slumped on the ground in amidst blood in a manner that suggests either dead or severely wounded. Okay. Slash dying. Yeah. Well, if it uh, hits him, these, it hits these two are standing. Okay. What I was saying um, is, if it's a 30-foot line, you would only be able to hit this first guy. On, see, I want to hit both of them. Yeah. Shit. So you, yeah, you need um, to move forward first. You know what? I will. That's fine. Yeah, it's only two yeah. actions. Um, yeah, because then my third would be moving shit. Um, okay, well, that didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. Um, now we're going to stick with it. I'm going to move. I'm going to move uh, my feet. <laughs> and <laughs> okay. we'll gr- get, that will get both of them. Yep, uh, so they are both going to attempt a fortitude save. For Titade. Guy number one. Ooh. Uh, pro- yes, uh, guy number one is a critical success. Uh, nice. You're using your good dice, nice. aren't you? Uh, second guy is a failure. Yay! Okay. They have a okay. really good modifier. I just, like, had one really good roll and one not great roll. <laughs> So then the so the critical success, so they're not that person's not affected. And then the second one um, becomes enfeebled too. It says uh, if this... you critically succeed on your attack roll. Second, let me. Uh, there's no attack roll. This is an area of effect save oh, spell. Oh, I'm reading the Ron. Yeah, Sorry. So it, yeah, I, tendrils. Yeah, darkness. You deal 2d4 negative damage and one persistent bleed damage. Let me get uh, my... Critical success is unaffected. Failure is full damage. So yeah, that 2d4 and then one persistent bleed. 2d4 and one persistent. Hello, my... D- here, the- oh, shit, that ain't a d4. me 
How's that damage? Four. Okay. Six. So six, and then uh, the one persistent bleed damage. So yep. six total damage. That's my turn. Yay. I'll give him a little heart tag for bleed. All right. That brings us to Suriel. Hey, uh, those people's on the ground. Uh, would you like to know the DCs of the poisons that were uh, on the uh, bolts? There we go. Yeah, what is it? The uh, one of them for the uh, oil is a DC 19 fortitude, and the other one is a DC 18 Fortitude for the Black Adder Venom. Okay. As are both failures. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, literally pick your poison. One of them will be taking 1d10 uh, poison damage. So I'll actually roll that right now. <laughs> Do I trust my dice? Oh well, but trust him. Eh, eh, I shouldn't have because that's only two. Better than nothing. Yeah, for round one, uh, and then one d eight for the other one. Oop, if I don't drop my dice. <laughs> oh, max damage eight. <laughs> yes. On the other one what? and uh. If they fail again, I'll tell you, but I'll roll for stage two. But they are dying. Bleeding out and portioned. Um, okay. Now that it's actually my turn, I can f <laughs> use my entire turn to get over here. <laughs> How's it feel? At least I can move 60 feet. <laughs> I can move 60 feet now. Someone's salty. I'm gonna get... Cause, uh... Yeah, because I can get right there. So I'm gonna get... Token. Hello. And of course... Why would I ever do anything else without adding a fancy flair to it? At the very end, I'm going to do a uh, just a nice uh, twisted front flip over the railing right here to gain some panache. You know. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Cool. Goons turns. The goon squad. Yeah. Uh, so this guy here, standing directly in front of Surreal, uh, has, Hi. they both have longbows out. Uh, but he, instead of trying to take a shot uh, with the other hand, just draws longbow. Mm -hmm. I do have a uh, whip and, mm, yeah, before we left, I drew my whip and my uh, silver short sword. <laughs> Where's our heart? Just so that's out there. Draws longsword. Um, takes a moment to to look you over. Doing the punch prey action. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, and then with third action proceeds to make sword attack at Surreal with longsword. Up, oh, I'm dressing me with your eyes. That's weird. Um, we rolled a 25 to hit. Fuck. Yeah, that hits. Uh, all right. Uh, it is a glancing blow, though. You only take five points of damage from it. Yeah. Uh, this guy moves to there. Bitch ass fuck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> out of potential. Makes a similar um, 
studying effort at Charlie. Don't look uh, at her then, like that. Uh, and then performs a uh, hunted shot, which is the uh, loads, draws, and fires two arrows at once. Oh god, Charlie, you almost got taken out the last time they did this. <laughs> I've got blood vendetta now. <laughs> yeah. Try me, bitch. Gets shot. Ah, fuck, that hurt. Enemy. Ah, fuck, that hurt. Wait, what? It's <laughs> <laughs> essentially what happened. <laughs> okay. Um. So I got a, uh, I got a 19 and a 15 to hit. Um, the first one hits and the second one misses. Okay. So yeah, only, only one nice. strikes home. Uh, however, uh, because of the hunter, uh, because of the uh, hunted hunt prey ability. That's extra damage. Extra precision damage. So you take nine points of damage from the arrow. Nine. Yeah. Uh, this guy here does the same series of actions, moves away from Donbot, hunt <laughs> prey on Donbot, hunt his shot on Donbot. He's like, what a the second. fuck is that? A second. So which was it? Was the arrow a piercing? Was yeah. it piercing damage? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Blood Vendetta. Okay. He's not in range. Wait a minute, what? That's why he moved. Fuck, wait a second. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, think... he moved so as God damn to it, be able to right. shoot at Suriel and not at his buddy. Yeah. In the way. Right, Schles. Fuck, a duck. 30 feet. Yeah. Never mind. <sighs> Just suffer with nine points of damage. Fine, you'll get another chance. Uh, the two the two arrows strike Donbot successfully, dealing seven and four points of damage respectively. That is very rude. How could you? They're just a baby. I agree. That is very rude. <laughs> Do not shoot pigeons. And it is now hey. Anvil Sunder's turn. Oh, I probably how far am I actually away do. from this guy? Yes. Oh damn. All right. Yeah. I will move. One, two, three, four, and then sudden charge. Hello. It's five feet away from my from a movement. <laughs> God, I hate that. <laughs> so sudden charge. Rolling it. It was a twenty-four hit. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, it does. Whack him. Well, 2d12 damage. I failed. Just run him over. Damn, maybe Mr. Anvilsunder should have been aware of 17 more. damage. God! <laughs> yeah, having that gore attack would be really good with this. Right? Yeah. That'd be, that'd be real neato, and that's my turn. Yeah, Kagan brilliant. did use sudden charge against you. <laughs> All right, yeah, we are back to the top of the order. He almost sudden charged my ass Aldrich. into oblivion. What you got, buddy? Oh boy, Aldrich does a move action. What? Whoa! Then Aldrich raises shield. Then. Aldrich says, sick him. Done. And Archimedes bot is going to attempt a bite attack. This pigeon is going to get a taste for human blood, and that's going to be the end of civilization. Don't, don't think too hard about the fact that the bite attack deals bludgeoning damage. It's just... You know, it's, a, it's a, like, crushing, like a hydraulic crush jaw. Yeah. Uh, does a 21 hit? It sure does. Sweet. Gonna deal D8 plus 6 damage. 11 damage. Okay. And that is Aldrich's turn. Alright, uh, more fighting inside. 
Uh, hard to tell how it's going from out here. Things are happening all the time. Yeah, uh, actually, um, we cut inside for a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, Simri is steadily backing Rona up the stairs. Um, <laughs> Rona fighting very defensively, using her, using like the hook bottom of her axe to like trip and push Simri, but not like actually trying to hurt her really. Mm -hmm. uh, Simri very hard trying to hurt Rona and just not doing a great job because Rona is a much better fighter than she is. But we see that for a moment, and then we cut back outside. PC action. Charlie. Okay. Um, I want to... I'll tell you what I want, really, really, really want. I'll tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I wanna try. I wanna. I knew someone. Trying not to get hit. You know what? Okay, so I'm gonna stay there. Um, on this dude, I'm going to cast Shroud of Night. Blinded by the night. Shroud of Night. This motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Do we remember to have this guy take one damage? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, and that is a fortitude? It's a um, will DC of 19. Oh, oh, yeah. Will, okay. These two guys uh, as well. Pretty even odds of whether he makes it. Oh. It's just, that's a bad oh. He rolled a, a natural one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wish there was a critical failure one. It says it just suggests the target is shrouded in murky darkness. Uh, that's Unless for. I think that's for the. Is that for the tentacle, James? No, oh, this is shrouded night. Shrouded night. I yeah. Brain. Okay, go ahead. Oh, that dude got that, and then, um, I was reading the rules, and it said I wasn't able to cast it twice in in one uh round of combat. So, okay. um, and. I am going to cast um oh, what's the f that one that's it's out of range shit one I cast. Fuck. I don't think that's a spell. <laughs> We're gonna cast fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> ooh. Waves of ecstasy. <laughs> oh, so, uh, this is 120 feet range, Jesus. and so that yeah, that yeah, guy. you can definitely cast that. And that's a. Uh... I, think I mean, that's, that's a nice roll. I'm going to... Nah, I really want to roll my own dice. Oh, come on. Spell keep the good roll. roll. <laughs> Should I keep that roll? Yeah, why not? Okay, that's... Yeah, 27 to hit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, that is 1d4 plus my sp spell ability modifier. Uh, okay, uh, however, that's you have second level spells now. Your cantrips also heighten to second level. Oh, yeah, they do. <gasps> that means they do more damage now. What? So I increase yeah. it by 1d4. Let's yeah. go. So now it's 2d4 plus your intelligence modifier. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my <laughs> gosh. Also, let me... Uh, Three. Five plus uh, my ability modifier, which is, I think, four. Did I say five? I forget what I rolled now. Three? Yeah, it was five four. plus, so nine total. Okay, another nine point cold nice. damage. Jesus, this then the critical a bad day. Is that a critical success? Uh, it is not. Ah. Uh, okay. Great. And that's my 
My turn. Thank you kindly. All righty. Suriel. Yeah. Uh, well, have those guys roll their fortitude saves again against the poisons. All right. Let's see what happens. See if they pass or fail. Uh, guy on the left who's rolling against the 19. Mm -hmm. uh, second failure. All right. Guy on the right who's rolling against the 18. Uh, damn, another failure. <laughs> Let's go. So that's 1d12 for the guy on the left. Ow. Because he's now on stage two. Oh, that is max damage for 12. You can stop rolling for him. <laughs> he's dead. Oh. <laughs> and then 1d10 yeah, for the you, other guy. You see his mouth filling up with foam. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Where did my D10 go? Plus, are you making the oil of potency tallies over in the corner over here? Yeah, that's me. Oh, here we go. Here's You're so smart. Just... And that is another 10 damage for the uh, other guy. Okay, he he's going to need next round because his crossbow bolt didn't do as much damage. But Okay, but he's getting there. <laughs> Yeah, he, okay. he ain't looking good either. Well, now that that's over, uh, I'm <clears throat> facing this man right here. No, luckily, this no longer takes words, but I will be using that intimidating glare feat. Okay, yeah, roll yeah. your intimidate. That uh, intimidation is. I actually I haven't looked at it for a while, so I don't know what my... Da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. That is a 24 for intimidation. That succeeds. Yeah. So that's one action. After that, just taking a swing with my short sword, because why not? That is plus eight. Ooh, that's a 19 plus, if I remember correctly. What's that? Eight? Yeah, eight now. Uh, 19 plus eight is 27. That hits. Yeah. I was like, I know how to do that. And that was one D6 now. Look at me go, uh, going up in the world, guys. I can do a D6 of damage with my sword now. Wow. <laughs> plus your strength Wait. modifier. Yeah, plus my strength, which is three. That's yeah, eight that's points of nothing. damage. That's not too bad. Yeah. Um, do I want to take another swing? Oh, why the heck not? I'll try one other swing. Actually. If I were to try, uh, would, uh, I can't remember. I remember I asked last time, but I can't remember the answer. If I were to use my whip, would that still be minus five? Because it's my second attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your multiple attack penalty is across okay, everything yeah. you do. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to make sure I had it right in my brain. Uh, going to attack with my whip to disarm, actually. I'm going to try to disarm. Uh, okay. So roll me that athletics. Athletics. And are you Ooh. disarming the longsword or the longbow? The longbow. Okay. 15. Uh, not successful. Oh. Ah, damn it. It's fine, but that's the end of my turn. It's almost like he's practiced fighting this specific way a lot. Really? The bow in one hand and the sword in the other. That's like the tradition. That's like the classic ranger yeah. thing. Or like Green Arrow, who his bow turns into a staff also. Like, yeah, lots the, of the ranger cool, is actually. like classically switched between melee and ranged combat yeah. fluidly. But anyway, um, yeah, you do not succeed at disarming him. Moving on. Fine. <laughs> There's always more turns. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just. I know I'm being stupid. 
closing the tangent. That's stupid. Yeah. You're being silly. This, you're right. I'm being silly. Mr. Anvil Saunders' turn. Is it? I think. I think. I thought it was the goon's turn. It sure is. Oh, oh it is the goon's turn. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Grapes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I got really excited. I'm sorry. You're not All a right. goon, Grapes. Uh, really excited for you. Now I'm sad. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so this guy here. Which one? This one? No, this guy here. That the one, guy. I the one right in front of you. I wasn't looking at my screen. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is going to draw the attention to the most important thing in front of him, which is Guy. Uh, he's also going to attempt the same thing, uh, draw a longsword. Provoke? Yep. Mm. Uh, I'll hero point that. Uh, does a 22 hit him? It sure does. It sure as heck does. Look at that. Look at them rolls. 15 damage. Uh, I mean, what do you do to this guy? I, I cut I him just, you... with my axe. With your axe? <laughs> axe. For sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, oh he, he he's drawing his long sword and I chop his arm. <laughs> and I go, Hey, looks like you've been disarmed. Sorrel goes, Boo <laughs> Yeah, your your axe cleaves through the humerus, which is the upper arm bone. Oh my god. And Thank into you. his rib cage. The arm That's... drops and you just see, like, the bubbles when he tries to wheezing exhale of, like, you punctured a lung in there. And That's why Surreal failed her athletics check. Just of that crumbles. <laughs> Surreal failed her athletics check because of that dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have uh, disrupted his action by way of axe Death. murder. <laughs> yeah. Axe murder! You get caught up in the axe murder. Oh my Thank God, you. That was such a good commercial. It was. Hey, where'd, where'd, you go? <laughs> where'd, your, where'd your mini go? <laughs> Ran away. Dead. Dead. She drank the invisibility potion. Oh! Oh! There it is. I was very confused. Next goon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it got like quiet for I too long. Forgot they were doing shit. Sorry, I fucking <laughs> forgot. Fucking worried too, and I'm like, to do. yeah. This guy yeah. uh, is going to see that happen, drop the longbow, and instead draw a wooden shield, <laughs> Pussy. Uh, but then make two longsword attacks at Suriel. Attack number one, 17. I got concerned too. I had myself, I had myself muted because Bella was making noise. Sorry, misses. <laughs> okay. Second attack. Dirty twenty. Uh, nimble dodge, misses. Okay. So yeah, you're able to uh, skirt both attacks. Yep, Suriel is now <laughs> just for flavor. She's now up on the banister right here. This guy here moves, mounts horse, takes off horse. Oh, man. He thinks he's getting away this time. 
as as he does, the hood falls, and those long, luxurious locks flop out it. into the breeze. It's that motherfucker. <laughs> Jas Cole Amber is running for it again. Again. <laughs> This, this horse? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I can't I, I can applaud the man for knowing when to get the fuck out. <laughs> well, um as as that happens, the other guy calls to him and goes, Yeah, go get the reinforcements. I mean that's also <laughs> bad, but also I can't blame Cover. him for knowing when to get the fuck out. And, and Jask is like, yeah. That's, That's where doing. I was going. <laughs> like you yeah. did earlier. Yeah, that was my plan. <laughs> totally. My plan all along. Yeah. <laughs> Jas well, Cole said. Amber. <laughs> Episode title, Jas Cole Amber runs for it again. <laughs> yeah, that was the plan the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> run, Ronnie, run. Also. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Mr. Amblesunder, take your turn. Oh, uh, and then I think we're going to leave it at the bottom of that round. Oh, no, please. <laughs> Aldrich wants to go so bad. Aldrich wants to <laughs> unleash the beast. <laughs> okay. I have such a potentially brilliant move. <laughs> he has a tiny velociraptor and everything, please. <laughs> I know. I will. That's why it's a good cliffhanger. Move here. Power attack. Okay. Hello? And the dude is flat footed. Sure oh. is. Oh, 27. Cool. That is just barely not a crit. Uh, uh. Damn. Fuck. Uh. Even with, oh. <laughs> Tasty damage. Oh, come on. Oh. Did you roll a bunch of ones? No, I'm just disappointed it wasn't a crit. Oh, oh, oh yeah. For, uh, for no. real, by one. Oh, you fuck uh, Even with. Oh. So all three flat of footed, us. Flat footed AC is 18. Jesus. Roll the 15 and I have a plus 12. Did you remember your bonus from the Oil of Potency? Yeah, well, I already have a plus one weapon, so yeah. Good. Yeah, Oil of Potency is just damage plus. But the damage with the power attack makes it a 33. Uh, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Wound up not mattering. Roll two tens and a nine. Yeah, it wound up not mattering whether it was a crit or not. Uh, He's dead. I died. Yeah, Anvil Sunder just chopping these guys down like trees. You're welcome. I did some damage. God, this one, it must be just like, just walks up behind some, like, like a slasher Horror. movie where they just come up behind right. some with a fire axe and start hacking. Oh, yeah, probably with that much additional damage, just fucking all like yeah, like a good just chunk, all... like right in one side, and then like three quarters through his body. Let's see. Yeah. Can I can God, I by chance damn. see this dude right here, like through the window? Oh, through this the window. dude here. Yeah, that dude there. Yeah, uh, roll me a perception. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. Yeah. That dude just looks like he's upright because he's hanging from an assassin vine. <laughs> oh. Nice. I thought he was, like, looking through the window waiting because I was going to be, like, slowly turned towards him covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, no, you, <laughs> like... lifts axe you, covered you, in You, like, caref like, actually take a look at him and you see that he's, like, swaying. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, that's and my that three it. turns. Your, your three, three actions. Three actions. Yeah. Fuck. Jesus. Three turns. Yeah. <laughs> three actions. That's my turn. 
fucking fighters, man. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. That's what happens when you power attack with a striking weapon. Can you imagine around later levels when it's more dice? More dice! Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, fighters. Yeah, it's it's actually good to be a fighter in this game, and I love it. Uh, well, it was good to be a fighter in uh, first edition, but now it's just even better. Yeah. I played a lot of fighters in first edition and made some wonky Me shit. Too. But like... This is like, oh, there's, I just have so much dice I get to roll, and, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Shiny clickety clacks. Oh, uh, I'm just, like, feels good. Getting to roll a bunch of dice feels good, which is also why I like how cantrips work, because, yeah, Ray of Frost is one of the ones where it's every level you get a bonus die. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm now competing with damage with a magic user now. <laughs> Whereas, like, right, I was, exactly. I had to, like, work, or I had to, like, really plan min max the shit out of a fighter in order to do that shit. But, like, this is like, ha, 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 power attack goes <laughs> chop. <laughs> Get it on, Anvil Sunder. Yeah. Oh, oh, and then, and then I, I get the I get the one the weapon enchantment. What is it? Serrating? <laughs> yeah. X goes brr. Ha ha, X goes brr. <laughs> Serrated X goes brr. Funny. Yeah. So your, your trappage was all, like, I didn't want to tell you that the ballista wasn't going to be necessary because your trappage was enough to, like, nerf this encounter, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like you guys, you guys weren't gonna need it, especially like, especially coming into this over leveled. Like, uh, I, so are we done recording? Uh, yeah, I'd say we're out. Sad noises. I want to trip the horse. <laughs> Let's trip the horse. Let me oh. trip the horse, James. <laughs> Top of the round, just the top Why of the round. Why didn't you let me trip the horse? There's one more round. Please. 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 Why have you forsaken us? Please. 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 DM. Please. Please. You can trip a creature that is one size larger than you. Please. Please. <laughs> We want this so bad. Just, no. This dude starts running away on the horse, and then the oh, fucking no, raptor no joke, runs around, trips it. That's why my level 4 ability is knocked down, for when we fight people on horses. So I just trip oh, the horse. <laughs> and then I have Titan Wrestler, so I really make sure I trip the horse. Take you to okay. horse, Wendy's, James. Please. That's how far the horse gets with one move action. He spends one to give it two, so you will get another. Well, no. Okay, no, he would... I'm actually, like, measuring it no. out, because I know no. the raptor is faster, so I'm pretty sure you can get there and make one attempt at it. Dude gets or it on... Can... Dude gets Gallop on or walks up two to actions. Horse, goes up to horse, walks on horse, commands horse to move. Yeah, Remember, yeah. not to combat, you, like, share actions. Okay. So basically, uh, Aldrich could just keep commanding it to try to trip it for, for his three actions. Well, no, they'll, they can get away if I don't succeed the first time, but... Oh, you can't just keep commanding it to... Keep tripping it. Well, on their next turn, if I don't successfully trip it, then on uh, his next Your turn, next Jask turn. can gallop away. Yeah. Or use three move actions and. You get, get your raptor. Freaking raptor only gets two actions. Just give your raptor attack of opportunity, forehead. Jeez. Yeah, jeez. That thing horse. Can I, can I, is that a thing that can be done? Can companions eventually get attacks of opportunity? 
Well, maybe. I don't think so, but uh, it's not... Also, maybe. another thing I wanted to ask, James, how was the house fire progressing? Like we'll a house get to fire. that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I forgot really? about that shit. This yeah, house the Ash is House on is fire. on fire. This the house roof. is on fire. Roof. Oh, my God. The roof is on we fire. We didn't start the fire. The fire. It was already burning before burning we got here. And the world was turning. We didn't start the fire. I was this on fire for you. Time. See, I just, I would just like <laughs> to say one go? thing. When you say it was like a, like a home alone situation, I expected us to be in the house w when we start encounter, not the other yeah. way around. Yeah, that's why I was yeah, like, yeah, I could have, I could have phrased on, that come better. On, come on. Now we're just like, now are we setting our own traps up, or are we setting off our own traps? It, it, it was just like, oof. so uh, is Sless able to trip that horse, or <laughs> uh, I trip that horse? Well, that's that is where the horse, horse moved to, uh, with the one action they had remaining. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yeah, Raptor can move there and make the attempt. Um, Trip that horse. Trip that horse. Yeah, but if it is not Trip successful, then horse will gallop okay. away. In two weeks. No! You can trip the horse. That's why <laughs> I have to ride it on the board. No, he, he's giving you the opportunity to do it now. No, I'm not. Yeah, we stopped recording. Yeah, it's, it's wow. when, when Aldrich's turn comes up. Wow. That's what's going to happen in the action economy. Wow. Okay. Going to trip that horse. Oh, combat was fun. I, I enjoyed chopping dudes in half always. You're welcome. Why are you, why are you saying you're welcome? You didn't help me. Enjoyable chop experience. Well, yeah, just wait until you start getting, like, free critical specialization effects and shit. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah, that's level... What level is that? Hold on. No, I know at five. five. Yeah. Level five is with my, with a, with the axes, and that's all I need. Yep. What, so mean, what is, what is the so axe great. critical specialization effect? Uh, I deal, like, the amount of damage equal to the number of weapon die I have to an adjacent. Oh, that's good. It's pretty good if you're dealing with an AoE. Everyone looks at Aldric. What? But then, but level four is when I knock down people. And that'll be fun. What did we name it? So 33? Then level, level six, Furious Focus. I forgot what we named episode 33. A full country buffet full country. or a full, oh, country full country breakfast. Country breakfast. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> I don't know about this one, though. I named it Run Jask Run, but that's kind of a placeholder name. I don't know what to call it. Honestly, we could just name it Home I think, Alone. I think we should just name it. Tr home, I want to trip that horse. Yeah. But What's that up, doesn't Jack? even. That's not on record. Oh, Why really? Oh. Just... Yeah, cause my my original one was just old Jas Colamba's running for it again. Ian. <laughs> what did you say, Jess? Thought I thought the trip that horse bit was on uh re it's, record, so it's on record for me. <laughs> you know, me too. But then everyone else, I guess everyone else stopped recording. No, Bummer. I, I quite specifically waited until we were done recording. I feel like trip mm. that horse works though. <laughs> That can be the next session, depending on how the horse tripping goes. It's true, yeah, that could be the next session. Uh... This house is on fire. This house is on fire. I was also Getting along about, like, like a house on fire? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like that one fits really well. Ash House Fire 2, colon, the refiring. The refiring. The refiring. The refiring. Worst gender reveal party ever.
Oh my god. I kind of, I, I feel like okay. that one wins. Depending on what kind of horse Jask is riding, I've got a slightly better than 50% chance of succeeding at tripping the horse. <laughs> slightly better than 50% chance. I tripped that horse. A 55% chance if it's a war horse. 60% chance if it's a riding horse. Good thing none of us are goblins right now. It's true. Horses hate goblins. Goblins hate horses. Goblins hate horses. Goblins That's why eat one horses. Of, one of their most uh, well-known weapons. Is the weapons. horse chopper. The horse chopper. Yeah. And the horse other one is the dog slicer. Yeah. But I also Cause... like how in the description for the horse is that whenever there's goblins around, they just get real ornery. Or the horses get real ornery. And tend to freak out. Ornery. Just get real angry about it, yeah. you know? Horses are real <laughs> racist to goblins. I paid someone angry. to take my blood today. Oh, paid someone you said? Yeah. Look, you're king oh, to like... your business. Plasma? No, uh, it's I for blood work. Oh, oh, got it. That went over my head. My bad. I was intentionally vague. I was also yeah. puzzled. So well done. I can't. I'm just the secret is, that. I didn't want you to understand. Ah, then you succeeded. Well done. Wow. What was my favorite course in school was that. phlebotomy. I was such a... I, I, I don't know why Rather I felt like I was... have a phlebotal in me than a phlebotomy. Uh, Sorry. Love phlebotomy joke. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to stop the stream. <laughs> Say goodbye, everybody. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. You're all beautiful. Tune yeah. in two weeks from now, where we find out what terrible. happens to that horse. Trip the horse. Trip the, hashtag trip, trip the, the horse. horse. Hashtag trip the horse. Hashtag See? justice for Aldrich. <laughs> justice James for has, Aldrich. Hashtag James has trip the horse. Two whole weeks to decide if the horse once tripped, if tripped successfully, follows normal rules or does more of a like realistic thing. Word. Just get absolutely fucked up. Yeah, I will for sure decide that over the course of two weeks and not five minutes beforehand. Definitely. <laughs> I didn't say you do it over the two weeks. I said you had two you weeks. have two weeks. <laughs> Good. I said what I said. It is funny that like, a real everybody. horse getting tripped Good is night, a guys. bad